All right, guys, before we start today's episode, we want to let you know that we have a Patreon right now. You can yes, check it out do. at patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Um, you can catch a bunch of bonus and extra content on there. We actually just uploaded a birthday vlog from last year. There's a reason why we didn't upload it, but we uploaded it as a surprise for you guys. We, on we didn't think anybody would ever see it, but we're like, now. you know what? Let's just release it to the Patreon. Yeah. Um, and everybody's loving it so far. So yeah. we're really excited. It was about like it. fully edited and everything. And we never posted it, but we posted it just a few days ago. So make sure to check it out on there. Again, it's patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. There's also the uh, the other two bonus vlogs that we have on there. There's a bonus high episode that we did. Um, and then we also have the Discord where you can chat with us personally mm -hmm. and just uh, hang out with the community. Exactly. And we're about to go to Florida. So we're about to film more shit for you guys. And we have a special guest that's going to be with us. So it's we're really, really excited about that. Another thing, super exciting. We have a pre Black Friday sale Woo -woo! on Cremota, baby. Yes, we do. So we have a couple things that we're offering for pre Black Friday. Uh, so if you spend $50, you're going to get a free Tumblr mug. And then if you spend $75, you're going to get a Cremota t-shirt and a free Tumblr mug. So you can do that right now. It's live, ready to go. Um, if you do uh, the $50, you will just put in code GIMME. G-I-M-M-E. Mm -hmm. And if you want two gifts and spend $75, you're going to go GIMME GIMME. Which is G-I-M-M-E, G-I-M-M-E, right in the promo code box on Kermoda.com. Mm -hmm. Get it just in time for the holidays. Get your favorite blend. We've got K-Cups and all the flavors, bags and all the flavors. We also got cool Kermoda apparel like these hats right here. We got hoodies, t-shirts, whatever you want. Perfect. All all right, let's get right into the episode, let's baby. Let's do it, baby. It's Confitale, baby. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right, this is where you dance. Already. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, oh, drink whoa. it, drink it, drink it. Mmm. There Nothing you go. Here, but you me. <laughs> there you go. You finished that quick. Yeah, that's me. I'm not good with moderation. Just porking it down. Yeah. Oh my god, we both have a rose tattoo in the same spot. Look at us. What? Whoa. Wow. 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 Nice. What does that mean? Ooh, ah. That doesn't mean. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm getting worried now. <laughs> What's you yours for? I so I have uh, four tattoos. I have my son's name, my mom, my wife here, and the rose because I liked it. Oh, okay, that's cute. Very no meaning. Good. We'll get into that right after the intro. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. <laughs> I'm Heath. I'm Zane. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we have our lovely, lovely boob guest, <laughs> Josh <laughs> Peck. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for coming you. on. How exciting. This is so exciting. Was I, who dropped out? Uh, I don't want to say any names. <laughs> <laughs> this was the last minute. So someone's supposed to be before you, but rescheduled. So now you, we, fl we flipped you guys. Okay. But if, even if you didn't show up, we would have, we probably would have just been the four of us. Right. Yeah. So I it's like, that. it's not like such a plan B, but like, we're like, Hey, maybe, he, maybe he'll be down. I love for a last minute. B. Come on. We also, we also get really uncomfortable asking people to be on the show. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard for us. Oh, I get scared. It. I hate it too. Like even asking for my own i just i'm the rejection yeah like, and i'm always like you don't need and if you don't want to you don't have yeah. to and i'm totally cool with it's it it's hard when you're not like the biggest deal you don't have like that like confidence exactly yeah, i don't want and i don't want people to feel obligated to come on you know mm -hmm. and i'll we, yeah. i'll dm people and they'll leave me on scene i'll send them a whole thing we're so excited to have you i'll leave the li our link to our show and just leaves on scene it's I, really sad. So it thank you for coming spirit. on. It's an honor. And I, I did a podcast for 120 episodes. It was purely interview based. And I got really lucky. Like I had on like big wave surfer Laird Hamilton and yeah. Zach Braff. And wow. Like, all, like interesting, cool people. But I certainly ran into that where like people just iced me or people would say they do it and then cancel on the day yeah. or not even like show up like, yeah. and not apologize. And then, but weirdly, I stopped doing it over a year ago. But randomly famous people that I've texted or like that I've DM'd will now see the DM like a year later. Oh. Marissa Tomei hit me up last month that Whoa. was like ready for the podcast and said, It's over, Marissa. <laughs> <laughs> you bring it back for one late. episode. It's like, oh man. It's because a lot of these celebrities, they wait till they have to promote something. Uh, we've learned that too. Mm -hmm. We have, like unless they have something that they're about that to they release, push. then it's like, but you should just go on a podcast for fun, just because it's fun to do. Yeah. But you also just started a new podcast. Podcast again. I did male models with our good friend. Oh, it's Joe Volpe. <laughs> oh, kids, so you're the only one I saw. I've never oh. called him that. Oh, it's Joe. <laughs> Wait, can I tell you guys something really embarrassing pertaining to DMing celebrities? Oh, yeah. So I, I was, I'm doing a few episodes.
episodes of this show, How I Met Your Father, with Hilary Duff. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Like, oh, really cool. It's it's been great. Hilary Duff, Josh Peck. You know, you is it like a spin off of Iconic. How I Met Your Mother? Yeah. Very cool. And Didn't I, you love that show or no? Yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah, good. Oh, cool. Okay. Good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So I, I w randomly like we took this photo together on set, and I didn't have her phone number, and so I like DM'd her because we follow each other on Instagram. I was like, "Yo, like, will you send me that photo? Here's my number, if that's easier." Forgetting that years ago I had hit her up to be on my podcast. Oh, like, oh. twice. <laughs> Not like, once. The standard, like, hey, Hillary, great to meet you. I'm Josh Peck. And like, and now we're like kind of contemporaries. But before I was just like some sweaty dude asking right. to do my podcast. Yeah, so right. she writes me back. She goes, oh, here's the photo. And also, sorry, I never did your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I thought, you see, I thought she would be easy because I, 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 I felt like back then you guys were all in contact all the time. Like Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, you guys all had a whole big group chat. Yeah. You guys were exactly. constantly talking to each other. Was there a rivalry? No, no, I mean, Tension? like, if Zach and Cody, like, if I saw them yeah. at the mall, like, we would start getting into, like, a breakdance battle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, those really cringy TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, yeah, not really. It just was, it's weird when I look back, there's, like, a photo of me with little Romeo and Emma Roberts. And I'm just like, what was that? What a dynamic. Fun? Wow. Lo is little Romeo that guy that we saw in Vegas? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's was, him. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. There's so many. No, little... no, no, no. That was Bow Wow. That was Bow Wow. You see, fuck. There's... Oh, that was Bow Wow. Bow -wow. That was Bow Wow. Bow Wow. Bow Wow. Bow Wow's still doing okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good for Bow Wow. He was just okay. DJing <laughs> in Vegas uh, a few months ago when we went. Did he get in trouble he... for the fake private jet photo? I don't know if oh, he got in trouble, but I definitely. It was embarrassing. People talked about it for sure. Yeah. It was a fake jet, right? Or was it? It was. um. Oh, I forget what the whole situation was, but he like took a picture like flexing with a jet, but it wasn't his, and like he didn't go on it. I but like someone like, posted, <laughs> someone posted the next day of him in like a regular economy seat. Yeah. Oh. So they put that the two together, and they're like, "Yo, you're not sitting in first class. You, you're sitting in you're like C boarding group on Southwest." <laughs> Do you ever feel pressure to have to fly first class or private? Funny enough, once I, I, cause like I will sometimes treat myself to a first class flight. I won't lie to you guys. Yeah. But. Other times where it's like egregiously expensive, I'll be like, I'm okay in Economy Plus. Right. Yeah. And I flew once from LA to New York and I was, you know, fine on Economy Plus, love and life. And someone tweeted like, yikes, what happened to Josh Peck? <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> Like, like it, if you if you don't fly first class, people are like, oh, he must not be doing well. Right. And then they'll, they'll it'll go viral because people would think like, you know, it's just like something to make fun of. But then if you like, I feel like if you fly private or first, first class, they're like, they're oh, like, okay, big shot. Right. It's like you never win. You can Since never. When win. is it uncool to save money? Yeah. Right. right. We're all going <laughs> to the same place. Remember when we flew to Utah and uh, a TikTok went out of me of me in the back of the plane in economy? Yeah. And people were just like. <laughs> Zayn in the car, I was just sitting next to this random dude and this person, his friend was uh, filming him in the backseat, but not because I was sitting next to him. It was, he was just filming his friend. And you just happened to be in and the And I frame. just happened to be right next to him in economy. And everybody was just like, That's first funny. off, is that Zayn? Oh, he's in economy. He's like, yeah, I'm in economy. It, it makes like, you feel was, like bad. Like, am I doing something wrong? And, yeah. then, and then you fly first class and they're like, they're entitled. <laughs> <laughs> Can't win. It was they an hour and a half something. flight. It was a quick flight. So, or two hour. It was, it was a quick flight. You're so humble. Like, you're, yeah. gra you're grounded. Exactly. Exactly. In the air. <laughs> That's yeah. a fun in the air. question for everyone. What is like a, a humble bargain that you don't mind making? That's just like, like for me, like if I go and do like a college gig in a random town, like in Indiana or whatever. Yeah. I love a Marriott courtyard. A nice one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Renovated. On the same way. The continental breakfast. I love one a good holiday mm -hmm. inn. They have the best yeah. continental mm. breakfast. And I don't feel like I'm slumming it. I feel like this is clean. It's lovely. It's $180 for yeah. the day. Yeah. Nice. Right? I love, I love a good chain restaurant. You know, yes. I want something mm. that I can rely on. You know, it's not the most amazing, innovative cuisine ever, but I just want to be in a booth. It just feels and like feel safe and served with reasonable prices. Let me just yeah. sit in a sizzler. Yes. You know? Give me Ooh, a chili. Pizza Hut buffet. Phase. Don't yeah. get me started on Sizzler. I go, yeah. I go nuts. I a, also think the good employees buffet. in like normal places like are just so much more welcoming and like yeah. real. Yeah. They yeah. feel real. Like an, it's it's obviously nice to treat yourself once in a while and like go to like a nice place, but it just feels like they're very like I can't relate to them. Uh huh. You know what yeah, I, mean? yeah, I like yeah, yeah. I like when the the waiter or the waitress doesn't know the menu really. You're like, what would you recommend? They're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, uh, I don't eat here. I don't. <laughs> eat. I, I honestly I don't like that. Eat here. Than, <laughs> That's my favorite. I don't eat here. Like, like remember that 
one spot we went to in Hawaii and who order, who wanted to order the fish and she was like, don't. I love that. <laughs> I love uh -huh. that. When they could yeah. be like super honest about it. I love yeah. it. Rather than, oh, this is actually steamed in a creme brulee <laughs> sauce with a this, that. And you're like, and it's not it's not tickling me. Right. Yeah, it's not for me. But yeah. sometimes it's fun to get the food that they don't recommend because you're like, ooh, I gotta try this yeah. for gotta myself. See how bad it is. Exactly. <laughs> I love an amenable waiter who like if it's not good, they go, I told you, I'll take yeah. it. You're like, great. <laughs> so you now have a podcast with Joe. Oh yeah, talk male, about that. That? male models. Male models. Okay. It's bite size, it's twenty five minutes. Oh there's great. No theme whatsoever except like topics, things we, I call myself Tammy Topics because I just think of things during <laughs> the week. And I'm like, I want to talk about this. So yeah, that. you can get it on Spotify and only Spotify because Ooh. Apple has a vendetta against us. Wait, oh, really? why? What? No, I don't want to put that out there. Tim Cook, you know I love you. But like <laughs> <laughs> The fact that you know somebody at Apple. <laughs> like, I don't fucking know anybody. I just know its name. <laughs> like, That's funny. I um yeah, no, we're just like we've been trying to sign up on the Apple store for like two weeks now and we just are we getting rejected? Wait, you're not able to like make an account on Yeah, Apple? it's weird. I'm, what? Yeah, it's I'm using my iCloud, maybe Did we need to get approved to put our I think on? I think there was a yeah there was like a, a wait process to get it onto Apple. Oh, right. and I, know, I know, that. know they're they're <clears throat> they're definitely delayed because when we switched our our channel logo out, oh. it took no Th joke. I think like a three whole years. season. No, he yeah, just took, like, took like two, three years. To just change. to get it to change. It's well, there's two million podcasts. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're not at the top of the list. No, I mean, but you guys are the one percent doing like incredibly well. Like who who's doing podcasts for themselves? They're like, I've got 13 listeners. Uh -huh. but this is just what there's I There's quite a few. I love right. that though. Yeah. I think that's the craziest thing. It takes a lot. It's commendable. Of I guess, yeah. Like, when it, when are you bordering on a madman when you're performing for no one? But that I, that, that I feel like them is like, like they genuinely are doing it for themselves. Or for like their career or something to have on a resume, just saying like, oh, hey, I good idea. Do, do podcasts. Right. Yeah, not a big audience, but I do it. I know how to edit it. I know how to upload it. Mm -hmm. That can help them be how. on a show that's already established. Yeah. You know, it's like a good. Just to have under your belt. Exactly. You know? So you guys get a massive... Joe Rogan asks, I love asking this question, like Spotify deal tomorrow, like hundred milli a year. Oof. Hell Spread yeah. four ways. Who? Right. You guys. We do. Us? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, what? He said hypothetically, like, Let's oh, hypothetically. Yeah, like, got what, it. Okay. What do we do? Sam was like, no, we, we did. We did. We got the deal. <laughs> 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 no, I thought you were saying we were worth that much. I'm like, no, baby. No, we are not. What's the purchase? Like, what's the first purchase? What's the next, like, 30 days look like? Oh, uh, big, I think bigger set. Uh, <laughs> yeah. New, new desk. New desk. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, we, I think we would just make sure that we have like the coolest, best set, the best equipment, the best team we, running Yeah, it. we'd hire a full I, production team. <laughs> we are a one man show. <laughs> Devin turns around. He's like, we would, <laughs> Our team. we would get people to help us. <laughs> um, He's been great. Yeah, just up the ante on the show, like kind of make it bigger. Make it feel better. Yeah. And then. Right. I think overall it would just go back into work. Yeah. All of it? No. No. no, no. I would, no, I would, like I would that definitely. That would be our priority. Right, right, right. And then, okay. and then I think the second thing I would do is I would give I'd a get lot my of money to my family. Yeah. 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 Maybe I'll have a few kids. I don't know. <laughs> just <laughs> just have nothing to do. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Definitely get my, my parents out of Florida, go retire them and let them travel and enjoy the world. Get them a camper, like a nice RV. But they're already in Florida. You can't get them out of there to retire. No, <laughs> <What? laughs> no, they, <laughs> right, no they hate it. They're, they're, they're so ready to go. Yeah, my parents are done too. Where do they want to go? They're going to Tennessee. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know what's funny? My mom was thinking that too, but she changed it's her so mind. It's so cheap. Nashville? Yeah. Uh, it's a town called Reliance. It's in the uh, Cherokee National Forest. <laughs> Interesting. There's, a, city. there's a, the nobody the there. <laughs> um, but yeah, they love that. They just don't want to see anybody. Fascinating. Nice. What would you buy? Uh, it's You know what? I love thinking about getting an absurd amount of, like, I'm like, what if I invested in Bitcoin like in 2012? <laughs> like, sometimes I think about that through a whole one hour workout. It's like depressing. Yeah. I, I, like I get that. mad that I didn't know about it or how to do it. And I just missed out on it. And I think right. it's going to haunt me for the rest yeah. of my life. I'm going to be at a cookout at like my kids, like friends, parents' house. And yeah. I'm just like, shit. And I'm like, so how well, how do you, you know, get this? And he's going to be like, Bitcoin. <laughs> you didn't do it? <laughs> <laughs> like it's, yeah, that's just going to haunt me at a cookout. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be one of those it's things. of our time, right? Because like when people go like, oh, I invested in IBM in 1950. I'm like, good, you old fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. 
<laughs> like, but Bitcoin was created while we were like, and we were like at the proper age to do it, like young enough to understand it. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it either. And it's crazy knowing that if we like put literally half our savings into it, we could have. But it like, then, but then you're looking at it like it's gambling. I know. But I know. Lose it all. But then right. these wealthy That's communities are going to be just these crypto winners. You know, it's not like the integrity of being like a lawyer or a doctor That's what I'm saying. or a huge yeah. CEO. It's just going to be like, oh yeah, we just got lucky. Like, <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, if I bought these coins that don't exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel that way with the whole NFT world. I don't understand it. But people are making so much money off of it, and I don't want to miss the wave again. I feel like this is such like a pivotal like moment for the the crypto space. And we're that, we're just talking to somebody that was at an NFT convention. He's like, it was insane. There are so many people that are so thrilled and fucking ecstatic to make all this money, <laughs> but there's no money yet. It's like there's no. Could you buy the NFT? Like they need now, an NFT yeah. store. Like I would go like to a store to go Everything buy NFT. So when I get on like the computer, I'm like, market. where? <laughs> So wait, where they like, got that three different applications open? Because you've seen like the shitty pixel NFTs where it's right. like boxes everywhere. Right, How right. like so are they looking at these NFTs and going, hmm, these these pixels aren't right? Then don't buy this one. It's like how can how do you know which it's hype. pixels? It's, it's just hype. Are good. It's so it's it based on the person that's buying it. It's whatever people think is valuable with this t token thing. <laughs> It does. It doesn't make sense, which is why. I, so I think I, it's the person who's behind it. It's like it's like a wearing a big brand name. It's like it's a normal shirt, but it, ha it says. I was right. about to say Vogue, but it's, <laughs> it's like the supreme of crypto. Exactly. Right. But, yeah. I saw like a TikTok though. He's like, "Is it just me, or like, do all these NFTs just look like stickers you would put on a bong? Like, <laughs> you're just like these like these like punk monkeys like and stuff. You're like, what the hell? Is, I, I I don't even want to own that. But I feel it's like, like those are the people that are buying this shit. It's just like stoner kids sitting there like. Buying coins. Yeah. But I, I love it at the same time. I think it's the most interesting thing in the world. I love seeing yeah. them like post tweets saying, oh my God, I just sold my uh, NFT for $250,000. I'm like, what? <laughs> like that's, that's fucking insane that someone it's bought it and money. then you sold it for it. It's gaming with stakes, right? Like when I was in my like early 20s, I remember like World of Warcraft was the thing. That was your thing? Not mine, but like, cause I was never smart. I've never been smart enough. I had the attention span <laughs> for like real games. <laughs> yeah. Like people were like, you know, they were like teenagers dying at the computer screen like this, like literally dropping dead from playing World of Warcraft for three days straight, and not eating or drinking. And then now they've just like created gaming, but with stakes. Like now there's actual money involved. Right. So it's very, it's very exciting. I mean, I'm I don't jealous. understand it at all. It makes me resentful. I don't, I feel like they're speaking another language. <laughs> yeah. I try not to think about it because it stresses me out, mm -hmm. but I'm happy for them. I love watching gamers get stressed out though. <laughs> Uh, like any kid that's just like yelling and like breaking his computer. That was I'm me. I'm watching the whole clip. I used to be really big into Halo. I'm the, the new one just came out. <gasps> what? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a, I thought it was a movie. A Halo? Show yeah. Out. I saw it promote. I was like, oh, they made a movie. No, they, well, they, <laughs> like, they, they, they were going to make a movie. They put a whole trailer out and then they like never did it. No, they made a show. But then they did like a spinoff, which wasn't like actually the movie. But, but they're making a show. I think. I hope they come out with oh, it. Oh, so they are making a show now. Something so I think theatrical. I saw the trailer for that because it looked like a fucking movie. It did not look like a game. If it was a game, that's crazy fucking graphics. This used yeah. to be my shit though. I used to play tournaments. I used to like be big into it. And I was a, I was a pretty big kid when I was younger. And my parents I called it. I can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Sure, sure. Um, but I lost all my weight from being addicted to video games because I wouldn't, what? I was that kid that would be up three days and I just wouldn't eat. <laughs> I thought, I mean, if it was like Dance Dance Revolution, I'd get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just starvation. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Is that how you lost your way to Dance Dance Revolution? Yeah. And Nintendo Wii. D D R. Oh man. And the kids who would go hard body karate and the arcade plant. Oh like, yeah. Dripping in sweat, <laughs> like with like how's a Gatorade in between like levels. <laughs> oh man, I was like, this level of commitment's not for me, but I can respect it. Oh gosh. I remember being at an arcade one time and there was this girl I really liked and I was doing DDR, but like I wanted her to see me play DDR. <laughs> and I was like I standing there waiting for her to come ass. around. <laughs> you always want Yo, them to see oh, how good you are when you're on those games. Yeah, they're like, go, go. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Just leaning up against that bar. Like, <laughs> the rail. Oh, you're on level, you're on level easy. It's yeah. like, yo, man. 
<laughs> I never like my mom is a single mom, so she wouldn't come to a lot of like my sporting events. But no. when she would, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> but when she would, I would never perform. Not never. I would like literally like say to my teammates, "I'm like, pass me the ball. My mom's watching." <gasps> and then like I put it up and just brick shake. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> That's where your mom stopped going. She went once. She yeah. was like, I, I can't She's do like, this. He sucks. He's All the awful. parents are looking at me. I can't be here. Oh, man. I wanted to perform so much. Oh, I feel like there's man. nothing worse than being uh, a parent of a wrestler. I used to wrestle in high school, and there's nothing nothing more embarrassing than about to be like pinned, and you look up and you see your dad just looking at you, <laughs> and you're just like, just being outmanned by another person, and then you're just like, arms twisted back, back about to break, and you're just like looking up, like my grandparents were there, and I'm just like, it is the most embarrassing thing in the world to, to lose a wrestling match in front of your family. Who in this group do you think will be that parent where they're like the annoying sports parents screaming at their kids, screaming at the coach. I, you? No, no, I, I, like, I, I go know. Are you kidding me? Matt with his family, turtle yeah. versus football. I feel like you were really competitive in like a sport world and you would you would be there like cheering your kid Matt, on like that. you are that. a winner. Like it depends. You are. Oh, there's a difference <laughs> wow. between cheering them That's on yes. and being like crazy. Like I was thinking about like the, you know, the crazy parents who are yelling at the coach and like yelling oh, at their no. kid. Uh, I thought, like that. I thought no, no, that's no, what no. you were saying. Oh, no, I am. I'm saying all of it. Like that. Just the annoying parent, like the obnoxious. Oh. I would, um, I would, I want to go to like cheerleading competitions and then like judge and my daughter be on the best one and then like hating on all the other squad. <laughs> yeah, that's like their routine was what not were they good. Saying their about moves you? were off. Like <laughs> that's what I, I want to be that cocky. Like, oh, our team's better. Yeah, yeah. Right. You Those call that a double backhand crazy to watch. Oh my god. Don't be that. I like whenever like uh, my. <laughs> I'm very conscious of this with my son where. Like he's almost three and he's my kid, right? So he's pretty verbal for yeah. a three year old. Like he's, if he has a talent, it's like, oh, he's, and parents will say on the playground, like, wow, your kid's so verbal. And I'll be like, hey, he's probably stupid in other ways. <laughs> <laughs> I try to level it out because I don't want to be, that was one of the greatest jokes I've ever heard because parents will hype their kids up so much. Like, little Johnny, he's really the greatest. You should see what he does. And someone said, in your opinion. Yeah, you right. Know, in your right. opinion, he's the greatest. Yeah. He, he, so I just don't want to be that parent at yeah. all. I don't want to even, I, I probably won't root for him at his game. So I'll just sit there quietly. <laughs> and once we get in the car, I'll be like, good job, buddy. You want a happy Ma meal? It makes him better. It makes him want to do better. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing yeah. worse than like a, a child bragger, like a, a parent that just theirs is the greatest because everybody thinks that and nobody wants to hear about anybody else's kid. Mm -hmm. You're just like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mine's reading already. <laughs> yeah, great. I bet you mine will get there. Everybody <laughs> learns at their own pace. Okay. Right. This is fascinating to me. And I throw it in the faces of parents who like have a seven year old who's like playing baseball, like eight hours a day at seven. I had this guy, David Epstein, on my podcast, and he's a sports um, scientist, basically. And he wrote a whole book called Range about how, like, it actually doesn't matter for 90% of sports whether you get your kid in at, like, 5 or 15. If they're meant to be, like, Roger Federer uh -huh. yeah. or, like, LeBron, they will be no matter what. And he also said, if your kid is the best ever at 10, it means zero. It means nothing because uh. if LeBron has been like playing video games and at 15 decides to pick up a basketball, it's pretty crazy. he will was... so quickly house your little loser kid <laughs> who's been doing it since they were five, but they just don't have it. Like they don't yeah. have the talent. Like he will like little LeBron who never played sports at 15 will, will catch up to your kid in like six weeks. Wow. Yeah, if they've been playing for a decade. So are you yeah. saying because I sucked at soccer all my life, <laughs> I could come back now and I could be like no, a superstar? No, you just don't have the talent. Oh, no, I just yeah, don't if have it's it. It's not okay. in you. It's not yeah, in you. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we, got, we, got, we got the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely the, the kid that nobody wanted on their team when yeah, I was playing same, soccer. Yeah. It was just, it's so sad. My, I don't think my parents even like to look at me because they're like so embarrassed. <laughs> to fucking so which one is your kid? <laughs> I'm actually just here watching. Uh, I don't own any of them. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, Racket. Racket is a fun new app that just launched in the App Store. Racket is the easiest way to record, share, and discover audio stories. And get this, Racket even gives you 99 seconds to create audio content. So, Racket made it easy for everyone when making a Racket. See, Racket gives everyone a platform, and it's the easiest way to tell audio stories and connect with people who want to hear them. Most importantly, it's a fun and easy way to listen to audio content. Everyone has a story to tell, so make sure to join us on Racket so we can hear yours. And 
and Racket just launched on the App Store, so you could download it right now. So make sure to head over to Racket.com. That's Racket, like a tennis racket. Racket.com to uh, download. And don't forget to follow us on there. Our username is Zane and Heath on Racket in the App Store, baby. Thank you again, Racket, for sponsoring today's podcast. So yeah, make sure to download Racket, and we'll see you on there. I know <laughs> Max is two, two and a half. How yeah. old? Um, but does he have any interests? Or are you just like, oh, wow, he can really... Yeah, my son, Max, has never met a ball he didn't like. Like, he's obsessed with sports. And my father-in-law was a quarterback in the NFL. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Really? So I'm so, because I'm so uncourt. Like, I'm totally the musical theater kid. Matt, I know you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I identify. <laughs> so there's, like, real hope for my kid that he might actually be, like, kind of funny and athletic. Which oh, would be, man. What a mix. Yeah. Because, like, it's one, thing, it's one to thing with. to be good at a thing. But, like... What if you're the whole package? What if you're Tom Brady? You're What's gonna have one like? of those. Yeah. Thank you, Mariah. <laughs> God bless you. Oh, I have another question. I think she wants to take your your baby. Yeah. yeah I'm like, where is he? <laughs> Zane last night was like, I forgot to tell him to bring the baby. I'm so sorry. I'm like, you <laughs> I text really him right wanted now. Max to come. I was like, I'll text him now. I might be late. I'll text him now. <laughs> And he's like, he's in school. Or like, yeah, he's at daycare. Yeah. Is daycare a preschool? Like, what is he? What is he in now? We call it preschool, but it's it's kind of daycare. It's daycare. Yeah. Okay. As soon as you said that, I was like, oh yeah, obviously we're in the middle of the school year. <laughs> of course, was, we'll be uh, was was Max named after Max Cable? <laughs> no, I, I was gonna Stop. ask that. I was gonna ask that. Stop. Later. I hate you guys. <laughs> did it cross your mind at all when you named him? It did not. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> bullshit! Well, <laughs> had to him. Well, well, like, and then I guess there was an episode of Drake and Josh, which also we took care of a baby, and the baby's name was Max. Oh, oh shit! Whoa! Yeah, and a lot of people asked me that as well, and I was like. No, I, I haven't even. I just think we liked it. He looks like a Max. Yeah, he's Paige, Max. Paige never told you, but she named him Max because of that episode. But we'll never tell you that. We'll never. <laughs> My wife's the ultimate Drake and Josh fan. Oh, <laughs> just it probably it has to be. I think because like, I, 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 I bet she probably yeah makes it does not makes it seem like she does not like care that much. I think closeted. Yeah. Do you understand how many of us like watch that show religiously when we're all younger? It's It's crazy. crazy. There's no way she has not like sat there and watched every episode. I don't believe it. She says no. She said her younger sister loved it. And so in like a tertiary, like Mm. I was on the sidelines way. She, of course, knew of it. Yeah. I, my wife's pretty cool, so I can imagine her at whatever age she was, like watching, I don't know, Discovery. Gilmore Girls. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. wild, though, that she like had exposure to you, her future husband, before, like years yeah. before yeah, knowing it's that, weird. that that's going to be your husband. Like, that's just because, you know, a lot of times when people fall in love, they just didn't know each other and then they met. Right. But knowing of somebody before being with them is just, I don't know, to me, trippy. Yeah, it's a weird. Uh, I remember when I would like, <laughs> and I, I don't know how this will sound, but uh, um, <laughs> I, I love you guys. Yeah. I, um, I'll put myself out there. Like, I remember when I would date girls before I met my wife and like sometimes and like, here's the thing. Like, obviously, I know what Drake and Josh is and it's like, yeah. it's not the greatest thing in the world. It's not the worst. It's just like, but it was very present because when we grew up, there wasn't really YouTube. There wasn't right. a thousand things to watch. There was like Disney Channel and Nickelodeon. Yeah. So there was a good chance if we're close in age and you had a childhood Drake and Josh was somewhere in your awareness. Yeah. Right. Somewhere yeah. in your home. Yeah. Because yeah. it was always on in mine. Yeah. yeah. Somewhere. And so relatable because you're either closer to Drake's character or closer to Josh's character. Like when you're in school, you feel like you're one of those kids. And I think it was like easy to relate to that. I was closer to your character for yeah, the show. The... That's why we connect. No, you were 100% a Drake. Big closer boys. to Drake. Everybody loved you in high school. In high school, I definitely got cooler. But like growing up when I was watching Drake and Josh, I was. Oh, yeah, I, we, we both had the glow up. You know what I mean? I get that. So like I I, I kind of grew with the show. Yeah. Mm, makes sense. But I would like, I remember when I would go on, like I would date a girl and, and they would say, oh, you're an actor? Like I I, I had no idea. And I'm like, listen, uh, I'm not shit. Yeah. Like we don't have to act like I'm anything, right? Yeah. But like, you know don't, damn well. You know who the fuck I am. <laughs> <laughs> like, or like, you know that yeah. I'm like the, the loser from that show. But right. like, can we not play this game? And then of course, like two or three dates later, it would be revealed. She'd be like, okay. Okay, okay actually, I like you. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm like, hug me, brother. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Let's order the pizookie. And I'd be like, no pizookie for you. You're a liar. <laughs> we have no trust. <laughs> oh shit, that's so, so good. How'd you and Paige meet? Uh, my wife and I, we met at a Halloween party not far from here in the beautiful San Fernando Valley, randomly. And she said she didn't look at me once during the party. I think she looked at me a few times. It's because you had a mask on, she couldn't see your face. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and I, yeah, and I, I asked for her phone number. Like it was very. 
Oh, wow. Old fashioned kind nice. of. Nice. Yeah. Classic. And now we've been together. Well, like, yeah, we've been dating for 10 years. Wow. wow. Crazy. Four. Yeah, it's crazy. How long are you married? Uh, married for four. Wow. wow. Yeah. Time flies, huh? So, you guys, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, we've been together for four years now. I, <laughs> <laughs> me and Matt have been roommates for like four years. Very long, very long time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's fun. I, I, I don't know about everyone. Like, I think everyone has a different sort of level to it. But for me, like, I feel like I was, I was born to be this age, like thirty-five, married with a kid. It's perfect. That's it, it's like the yeah. it's like the traditional it's lifestyle that we all want. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. remember you told me something when um you had your son that it unlocked a part of your brain that you didn't even know existed. Mm, and yeah. it, you just like instantly, as soon as you saw him, it was just like your world changed right in front of your eyes and you like didn't have that until he came out. Yeah. And Jason like that is crazy to me. <clears throat> it's like you're handed keys to a city that's already been built. You just never got to see it before. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Woo. It's very fun. That's nice. May- I- maybe I need a kid, not shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you microdosing? Um, I, I, it does. It's not working. It's like gummies, but I, uh, you're supposed to take the real thing, and I'm not doing the real thing. It's like those gummies. That it's like, mushroom gummies. With like yeah. psilocy- psilocybin in it. And you know, you don't feel any difference. No, no, I stopped taking them. But he's never done like shrooms, so I don't know like what he's yeah. feeling. I I want to take it. I'll do it today. I'll do it. Just today. take the whole. Yeah, take. We the whole saw thing. a difference for a little bit when you were taking. Did it. you? Yeah, that that yeah. first day. There's you did a it. no way. Because because yeah. I like I was skipping. I was skipping days and shit. So like because I know you'd be really. Yeah, but strict imagine on if you were consistent. The change. If we already noticed a change. I definitely saw. You. Just awareness. Okay, I'm gonna so. double line dose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> he comes in here just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> like, oh. Okay, hold on. Mushrooms. I'm. I don't regret having taken them, but I've had. I remember I once tried to go to sleep on mushrooms, which is never. Oh, it's oh. a nightmare. Oh, oh really? Oh my gosh! Na- yeah, but I took like a proper like knucklehead dose. <laughs> oh god! Oh, you took, you took three point five. You heroed. I don't know. I, I heroed adjacent. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was bordering like, on the hero dose. I didn't take a Batman dose, but I took a Robin dose. <laughs> okay, oh. <laughs> that did not sound like English to me. The past two sentences. Batman, like, Robin, dosage, hero, <laughs> <laughs> heroic dose. I need like a Karen's translator. McKenna says, yeah, Matt, you need to be translating in this ear. <laughs> so hero dose means that he took way too much. Yeah, um, hero's dose is like I want to have a full exit from my consciousness. I mean. I'm sure oh. there's like psychedelic nerds who would tell who would say I'm describing this poorly. Right. But like a hero dose is like I'm fully committed to this trip. I'm not going to do anything else. It'll rock your world for sure. Yeah. In a good way though, too. Yeah. It's I'm like so- 3.5 grams, right? Yeah. Somewhere over there? Yeah. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, you know. I know you know. I'm surprised. (laughs) I know you know. (laughs) I'm surprised that people want to go. Like, there's always time when, like, people that want to take insurance for the first time, they go all the way to, like, Joshua Tree and, and, like, random place or a new place they've never been to. In my head, I'm like, why don't you just do it for the first time, do it in your own home, in the comfort of your own home with friends? It's crazy that, like, people always want to go in this, like, crazy, wild adventure. Isn't it? The first time. I think it's supposed to be, like, your connection with, like, Earth. You have, like, a greater appreciation. But then I've heard the night like i've heard some are nightmares I but imagine, you're like in a random place imagine <laughs> being in the desert at night and there's just like coyotes howling and yeah, like, you're just like yeah you need, I, like need that faci- risky. I need facilities i need like to know i can use like a toilet yeah rehab and center. like right. if i needed to take a shower like imagine, yeah, yeah imagine being on like a ship in like a lightning storm and <laughs> <laughs> like imagine going through that while Ooh. on a hero dose, uh-uh. I no way. You need like Good a sh- you need an escort. <laughs> like you need uh-huh. like, like you need a chaperone to be like. I've had buddies who have started going dark, and someone who understands like the mushroom. Like when people do ayahuasca, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be like super um, reparative and like help you tremendously. But that's why you do it with the shaman because they'll see you going dark and they'll be like, "Come here, honey." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's he, like, nice. has to go there. Yeah, <laughs> bring a real him back in a bit. Here. Yeah. Do you think they have those people on Task Rabbit when you're doing a drug? <laughs> somebody, to, somebody to come <laughs> sit with you. Yeah, but just for any drug, for any drug. For any I'm drug. sure somebody will do it. I'm gonna do mushrooms tonight. Does anybody want to come over and just like rub my back and make sure oh. I don't have that trip? Crystal meth shaman. Yeah, it's you're just good. a guy with a I bunch of you. computer parts. Here you go. Like, I I got, you're there, child. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. Some have a one star though. Do not go to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Made my trip terrible. 
He locked me in a closet for five hours. Do not go to him. There is a hotline you can call that it's literally just people there waiting for you to talk you down from a bad high. Really? Really? This did, Let's look it up. <laughs> did, did, did they have that for uh, for drunk? Get them on the for phone. Drunk? Probably. I think it's like. When you have the spins, I just call the shaman. It's like the like, peer support hotline. That has to be it. Right? Firesideproject.org. Imagine I trying nice. like for yeah, drugs in general. There's like uh What a crazy job. Like that's gotta be so tough. Somebody's having like a crazy trip and you have to like get in there and calm them down yeah. Yeah. while I mean, they're like thinking crazy things. That's gotta be so hard to talk to somebody in that state. Right. Like that takes a certain person that yeah. can kind of connect with you on that. That's yeah. actually that actually can they can can they just can you just chat with them though? Because like the worst is like I've done like mushrooms one time and I was with Todd, but Todd was like on his phone and I was like, I, Todd, I need to talk to you because I'm, I'm having all these thoughts, not like scary thoughts, but I was just like, I don't know. Like I had just a lot of ideas and stuff. And like, I, luckily though, there were like two people that were there, like yeah. Ray. And I was like, so happy he you was You just there. wanted out of your system so yes. you don't forget. Cause I yeah. just felt like a loony that I was just like in my own head. And I'm like, I need to talk to someone. That's actually really great though. I would like call that just to, get something out let's all name best and worst person to do psychedelics with dead or alive uh, in, in this room or no, just in, in general max cable <laughs> <laughs> come on <laughs> like I, you don't want to do psychedelics with hitler right because no be like, oh, jesus like, <laughs> like awesome I mean, that's, that's, like, that's like are you tripping <laughs> <laughs> a given <laughs> Oh, oh, Ben Shapiro for sure. <laughs> ah. The words would just be coming out. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're on psychedelics right now. This is mushrooms. This is I'm totally tripping and the government's going to shit. Yeah. <laughs> Jonah and Susie. Oh, hell no. Good, good. But, yeah. wait, but which both Susie the, bad? Jonah both? Good? No. <laughs> both? both bad. Absolutely no, 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 no. not. Out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Susie cackling. I just, because they, because the way they, the way they spit ideas every five seconds, it's like, almost like they're on shrooms already. So imagine them like on shrooms. It would just be, it would be a nightmare. They're a lot to deal with sober. <laughs> So I couldn't imagine <laughs> yeah. being uncomfortable in my own head. In and the middle just, of the desert, like in Joshua Tree, that, like, yeah, that's They're also thing. adorably needy. Yeah. And so, like, Susie would be like, that's a good idea, right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. stop asking me that. <laughs> <laughs> like, right? Right? We Susie, should go jump off right. that cliff, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Take me with. What about I, someone interesting like Chuck Norris? <laughs> Chuck Norris would be great to do it with. Oh, yeah. yeah. Practicing kickboxing while you're training. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what's her name? Oh, uh, fuck. Jack, She's Jack in Ma. Gary. What's her name? With Ma. Octavia Spencer. Oct oh, yes. I would, do Octavia Spencer. I would do anything with Octavia Spencer. <laughs> Have you met her? No, but she seems lovely. She seems fun. <laughs> and I was, I, I once worked with a wardrobe person who had worked on a project with her and I was like, oh, what's she like? And he said, she's the loveliest and she loves a comfortable shoe. I said, <laughs> enough said. Oh. <laughs> I was like, same no. here. I think she lives in this neighborhood. I she does? So. I think so. We got to get her on this. That, that's the type of person whose house I'm looking up is Octavius. <laughs> I'm like, where does she live? Because <laughs> I want to run into her and be like, oh, this You're over here, here too? too? Yeah. What about shrooms with Oprah? Oh, great. I would Good do that at Oprah's, that Oprah's house no, for no, sure. No, because that just, would feel like we... doing like a mom. Just yeah. too much mom vibe that I'd just be like. What's Josh? I, can we just talk about this turn that just happened here where my man goes, what about shrooms oh. with Oprah? <laughs> I can see like like the office pan. Like, yeah. what about yeah. like a Dwight Schrute moment? Have you met her yet? Never. After all those years, no. <sighs> Do you think she knows I exist? She Absolutely. Must. She has to, yeah. Right? Because it was a whole, I feel like it was such a meme. It's a and thing. All the celebrities are seeing those memes. Like mm -hmm. they're, they can't get, they can't miss it. That know. was a missed opportunity though. That it would, was wait, on that would part. break the internet. If you had a picture with her on your Instagram. Yeah. And what I, I think I would have to cry for the photo, which right. wouldn't be hard for me. Yeah. I, no, no way. I couldn't imagine. I, I don't know what I would say to her. I thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I've always imag imagined I would do shrooms with you. And yeah. I was wondering if we could like do that today. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, Manscaped. Ho, 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 gentlemen. The holidays came early here at Manscaped, the leading men's hygiene brand. Manscaped just launched their new products, including their all new ultra premium body wash and two in one shampoo and conditioner. It's time to give yourself or someone who needs it. We all need it. The gift of beautiful skin, hair, and balls this holiday season, baby. Especially the balls. Untrimmed pubes are the thing of the past, baby, and it's possible you might have Santa's beard up in your pants. 
That sounds disgusting. So don't be that person. Mm-hmm. It's time to leave your significant other with some cookies and milk at the bottom of your chimney, baby. We're talking about the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0, baby. It just gets better and better. And look, I'm not going to lie. I really am in love with these trimmers. They have like a, almost like a protective seat. I don't know what they have on the trimmer, but it's like almost it's like a, a protective. It's a guard. It's a guard. So you exactly. Don't, so you don't, you know, snip yourself. Because I used to always slice my balls. And always. I'd be there even if I was so careful. Careful, mm. I, would, I would just gently go and then shoo, boom, balls capitated mm-hmm, that's every right. single time. Also, the light really helps. Yeah, for some and for some, because it's it's real dark down there. Yeah, you know, even when you have all the lights on, it's still dark down there, especially when you have a lot of hair down. It's covering the light. Mm-hmm. So inside the performance package 4.0, you're going to get the signature lawn mower 4.0. Mm-hmm. This electric trimmer has propriety advanced skin safe technology to reduce cuts on the nuts. And the best part of all is that it's waterproof, baby. Take it in the shower. This performance package also includes the crop preserver and crop reviver, baby. It's an anti-chafing ball deodorant, moisturizer, and toner. It's time to keep your North Pole feeling and smelling fresh. This hygiene bundle will also come with a pair of Manscaped anti-chafing boxers that'll keep your junk feeling fresh all day, every day, baby. And Manscaped is going beyond the groin with their new ultra premium body wash. It's infused with aloe vera and sea salt to keep you feeling clean, silky, smooth, and moisturized. They also just launched their two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, which has key ingredients with benefits that include hydrating, nourishing, and conditioning the scalp and strengthening your hair at the same damn time. So tis the season to load up on your Manscaped products, baby. So get yourself, your dad, your brother, your friends, the best gift of all, the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0, baby. And right now you can get 20% off plus free shipping when you use code unfiltered at manscaped.com. Again, that's 20% off with free shipping if you go to manscaped.com and use code unfiltered. Clean up your nuts and make Santa proud of you. Mm. That sounded wrong. (laughs) Thank you, Manscaped. Thank you. What's her life like being on the mountaintop? Is it boring? They say it's lonely at the top. It's got to be. And she's been at the top for a long time. A long time. That's like Dolly Parton level. Like, yeah. Like, untouchable no one will right. ever come no. close oh no but she's not doing her show right right is she doing she, her magazine i think she does an interview she's interview style yeah. interview yeah. style she's okay. like she's like barbara walters level where she just gets to interview the biggest people i feel like in the world when it happens <laughs> were you silent or were you silenced mm-hmm. there you go was that a question she asked yeah she said that to megan markle <laughs> what a crazy like st- like the difference Comparing what to interviewing Meghan Markle versus interviewing Josh. No, Pack. just silence <laughs> and silence. Silent and silence. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a good question. Though. Yeah. yeah. Well, we should have a sign that says that. A neon. She didn't come up with that in the moment. I don't care how great Oprah. Is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was. I've definitely scene. heard. Don't deny before. her. Like someone like pitched that and Oprah went. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that. Alley oop it. Alley oop. Yeah, We're taking that. I always like love the videos though of Oprah standing and she's like talking to the camera and it like I'm pretty sure she does all of her stuff in like one take, you know? Yeah. But it looks like but it makes me nervous because I think like she's gonna forget something here. Yeah. You know? She when she was talking about Adele, like Adele was like standing behind her. Did you see that one? Was she was talking about her favorite songs. Her favorite songs. Yes. And I'm like, come on, Oprah, do you know it? Because like you feel like someone like Oprah yeah. just gets prepped right before. Mm. Like make sure you plug in this new song. Matt worries about the funniest thing. <laughs> you know. You know what I mean though? I'm like I want to know. I want to see though the clip of Oprah fucking up though. I want her to just be like shit. Okay. Throw she did again. Th- What's the name of the song? <laughs> What's the name of it? Okay. Well, she All did, right. Do it again. Like I want to see that. She did fuck up and remember Adele just put out like one night only thing that came out a few days ago. Devin, Oprah do you know, fucking do you know, up. Do you know what I'm talking about? Adele came out with like the um that show at the Observatory Tower. Yeah. yeah. The one that, yeah. And Oprah was there and somebody got a clip of um her singing along but she was getting all the words wrong. So she, Adele was singing and she's just Wait, that's Mariah Carey when Mariah Carey was singing on Oprah. Uh, 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 what's that Mariah Carey song? Shit, I forgot. Christmas? I be my no. baby. Yes, yeah, something like that. And she's like going, <laughs> she's getting the words wrong. <laughs> yeah. But that was, Oprah, that was Oprah at that show. At she the, the looks Del. fantastic. Oh. God, does she look good. She looks so good. But, uh, but notice that the headline for this article is Oprah getting Adele's lyrics wrong is our favorite thing. Like, I, there, it might have been yeah. the Huff Post one, but it's oh, like, 
People are like, oh, Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> you. Oprah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Remember, the, have you seen the video, though, of like her and Ellen DeGeneres when they were talking about like the last time they went to a bank? Have you seen no. that? No. Oh, wait. I think I did. It's kind of cringy, though, because she's like, oh, yeah. Oh, it was probably like 20 years ago. Yeah. I just wanted to cash a million dollar check just to do Ooh, it. Just to walk <laughs> no. in and do it. Yeah. yeah. Just to do it. And they're like <laughs> laughing about it. But it was something that only super rich people would just think yeah, was funny. It was, it and we're was like, complete private conversation. Like yeah. that went public. Yeah. Yeah. What? But what? <laughs> what bank, first of all? Yeah. Bank, bank of America. Well, 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 uh, imagine out. going there. To <laughs> deposit a check, you look over and Oprah, yeah, it'll be a million dollars. Oprah's just in line going, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun for me. You're like there to fight an overdraft charge. And Oprah's yeah, right. like, you're disputing me. it. <laughs> she's walking out giving people stacks of cash because she's like, I'll never be in here again. Might as well enjoy this moment. You get a million. You get a million. Can when you that, imagine if that was an episode, though? <laughs> Look under your cubbies! <laughs> when was the last time you went to a bank? I go to a bank, but I do the drive through bank. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the, I like the, 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 Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Do they That's still good. give kids, like, lollipops and stickers? Do you know? I don't know. Bank that of America does. Great. I, I don't mind. I mean, do you have to be a kid? If they <laughs> I'll take it, one lollipop, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll take it in 20s and a cherry lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cash this million dollar check. Get me a dumb dumb. Do a lot of people it. still go to the bank, though? Because I feel like you could do everything on your phone now. You could cash checks online. And you could. I bet people over 40 still go to the bank. <laughs> I go every once in a while just to, like, just to feel you alive. You do? When's the last time you went to a bank? He goes to the one down the street. Dude, I money. got I got Chase on the corner, so. Oh, hold on. Why, but why would you go to Chase for to grab cash out? Makes cash out. Alive. Check up on my safety deposit boxes. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Wait, Bars of gold. Can you, you just, tell him what you a, can't put in a safety yeah, deposit so box? Yeah, so I go there to uh, do my safety deposit box, and he's like, just to let you know, you can't have any guns, drugs, or cash. And I go, I think I'm going to walk out. <laughs> <laughs> like, what would you put in there? Yeah. What? Uh, why can't you put cash? Pictures of your family. Like savings bonds and stuff. Yeah. So bonds and like jewelry. Yeah, it, like, no, you, yeah, you can't put, you can't put jewelry. You can't put jewelry. Oh, wait, in every movie, there's fucking jewelry in these. Zane, those the are movies, Zane. I know, but no. what, in movie, if they're showing a bunch of movies and, and it's illegal to do that, why would so, you even okay, do that? So you're not supposed to be putting that type of stuff in it, but you can. Nobody's in the room with you when you go in. So sure. they don't know. Oh, okay. But but hypothetically, if something did happen, they can go in and break the box open and just take whatever's in there. And they're not liable. They're not insured. Or, yeah. Ugh. Got it. Do they do the double key thing still where like the attendant has to open it and then you open it? It's uh, it's private. Is it gloves? and like they it's, it's not as cool as I thought it was going to be, though. Oh, and the boxes are really little. Because you can only fit like, yeah. like, pay, like uh, bonds and shit. Yeah. Okay. Just, Little envelopes. There was a safety deposit place in Beverly Hills recently that got um, raided by the FBI because it was literally just like a safe house for drug dealers and for oh, gangsters. Wow. So every safety deposit box had drugs, Jeez. Gun, like all the good stuff. Wow, Ooh, that's yeah. fun. Right? Yeah. Just one time. <laughs> One time, I'd like to know what it's. You should put like <laughs> fake weed and fake uh, diamonds in there, and just see like. No. Just to see, but if they if they catch you and they call, you're like, why the fuck are you looking at my security deposit box? <laughs> I just box? picture them with like an X-ray scanner, and they're just like going through, and they can see whatever's yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they're allowed to, like, like I employees think it'd be more are fun to, to just put like embarrassing things. <laughs> You know just I mean? Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, these are mine. Like, oh, <laughs> or like, or Roman All swipes. your Dave and Buster's tickets. <laughs> yeah. if, if you had like crazy dumb money, would you carry like a, like 50 cent carries like a fold of hundreds? Like just carries no. 10 grand on him wherever he goes. Would you do that? Oh, absolutely. I, I lose my phone I and wallet every day. I wouldn't carry a lot, but I would carry a I good like amount for like, like tipping people that like help you out throughout the day. Right? I like having cash on me. Yeah. How fun would it be to just be able to tip hundreds as a rule? I do that when I'm drunk. That. Oh yeah, and I'm he's really, really bad. bad when he's it's drunk. The but that's like a good, unless you're like totally it's so breaking bad. the bank. <laughs> that's like a good drunk mistake. Yeah, I'm like very giving. I tip, awesome. I tip a lot when someone recognizes me. Does that ever happen for you? <laughs> <laughs> if that's the only time you do it, that's not good. No, I tip, I, I tip a lot. This is like, please don't talk shit about me. <laughs> Say we had a good experience. No, I do. I tip, I tip like, like more like, like over, it's okay. Way to, over it's okay 20. to tip more. Sure, it sounded like you goes, only tip. Say you love me to half and not unfiltered. <laughs> no, no, we're saying you. Okay, you fucked it. You meant to say you tip more. I said I tip a lot. I say I no, tip. no. You said you tip when somebody recognizes. No, me. I said I tip a lot. I wouldn't say I tip when someone recognizes me. <laughs> okay, I did not I, say that. Man, Replay that back. There's no wrong. way I, I would have said that. That's I tip. Awesome. I tip a lot when someone recognizes me. I have bad ears. I'm sorry. Don't yell. I tip a lot. So, oh, 
I, I, no, I tip every time. If you're, oh, you're sitting like, if like a, a waiter waitress. is like a, oh, a big fan. I thought you meant I'll if you're tip. walking down the street. <laughs> yeah. like, Can I get a picture? And you're like, here. No. Yeah. Yeah. no, 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 that's, no, no, what, no. that's what it sounded like when you oh, said it. Okay. That's not a tip. You're just giving someone money. That's a donation. Yes. Oh, yes, of course. Well, you just said you give, or you what? You give away money? Like, no. No. He gives to. No. When he tips, like when he's drunk and he's tipping people. Like a valet guy. Yeah, valet. Like, I'll tip like 100 bucks just. Shit. When it should have been fifteen, twenty dollars. Right. If yeah. he's on the golf course and like the lawnmower guy's going around, he's like, here. Yeah, and <laughs> like, like just for fun. like drink cart girls, like I'll tip a lot just because it's like, you know, it's nice. Huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> I looked right it's funny at that you. I was like one of the first Ooh. people that you say you tip. Like, well, she said on the golf course, and then I'm thinking golf course. I'm like, mm. Wait, there's this restaurant in Florida that oh he my loves God. to go to. It's called Twin Peaks. Oh yeah. Oh, Twin Peaks. You love Twin Peaks. I went to Twin Peaks with you guys. It's like a Hooters. Yes. Yeah. It's a Hooters of plaid. I found that out real quick. (laughs) It's Hooters with like plaid skirts. Right. Yeah. And I could see you wanting to tip a lot. They serve their beer at like 28 degrees. Mm -hmm. Well, there is like a slushy. There is a for three bucks. There's a TikTok that I saw of a girl going around to all the Twin Peak employees and they're going around and they're like, what's the biggest tip you ever received? And they were literally saying $10,000. And like I was like, crazy that's tips. Heath. That's literally Heath. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I ain't no. got it like that. <laughs> this is Twin Peaks? Yeah. Yes. Do you get it? <laughs> oh my God. That's what I said and I've been there. Do you get it though, Twin Peaks? <laughs> Thank you, man. Boobs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez Louise. They How is this thousands okay? of dollars of allowed? worth of tips. The, 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 look up the tilted skirt. To the, or no, <laughs> tilted skirt. Tilted, tilted, tilted skirt. What's it called? The, the tilted, tilted skirt. skirt. It's just, you're what's it called? sick, man. Oh, the tilted <laughs> kilt. Sorry. <laughs> Sick man. This place I don't like. So, do you think like all like the really go? pretty girls like they leave from Hooters and they go to Twin Peaks and then Hooters has like the yeah? I wonder if they like switch. The, the you know the the they make so much money like thousands of. I'll be honest, Twin tips. Peaks service the one I go to sucks though. It literally is just for the three dollar PBR that's this big and it's a slushy. Like right. you can't beat that. Three bucks. Can Their we, beer is ice cold. It's pretty crazy. About ten thousand dollars in, and the appetizers are actually pretty decent. Can we well, go after this? <laughs> the There's Peaks? not one here. There's it's not like a Hooter. Well, the Hooters on Hollywood sucks. That I, I, yeah, no Hooters. But it's a limited menu. Like I feel like Twin <gasps> Red Peaks is yeah. more of like a, a nuance. What menu. the hell exactly. is Redneck Heaven? Redneck Heaven. I've been to. They also have a live minnow shot. That looks like a rave, Heaven. dude. You Keep went, calm and travel. Oh. oh wait, they're topless. Yeah, dude. It's oh, wow. they wear nothing at Redneck Heaven. <laughs> And they, they have a live minnow shot where you take it, uh, they give you a live minnow and you down it what? and you like take a tequila. You eat a minnow? Yes, live. Heath, we should go here for the podcast, for the experience. Just we so we can talk have about a on story. The podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when I went to sleepaway camp, you had to take a swim test on the first day because, and I was very overweight. And so you had levels. So it was like, if you were terrible, you were a guppy. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. oh no. And then like, it was minnow, fish. What were you? Lion, fish, shark. I was a guppy. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, I'm a pretty good swimmer. I think they're just like, they're they're holding it against me that I'm so overweight. They're like, if like the tide gets crazy, he won't be able to tread water <laughs> long enough. <laughs> These were but, private conversations that were having. By the end, I got to fish. Oh, nice. that's, I went congratulations. Up oh, very good. Just Thank broad, so just impressive. fish. I'm really lucky. <laughs> yeah, not flying fish. That's crazy. <laughs> like, he Max ain't flying is gonna nowhere. be a flying fish. <laughs> That's one thing I could never do is tread water. You wouldn't be a good. I can't. Seal. I can't get the the blender with my feet. <laughs> I just for some I reason I tired. cannot get the the motion of Did it down. Did you have to do it in school? We had to tread yeah. water for a minute. I was. Yeah. I was just this. You right. still can't I was, do it? No. Really? So you really That's can't why you swim. swim with that, me. that means you can't I'm like, Come swim. swim. Hang out in the deep end. You're like, I'm oh, good. I'm good. <laughs> you can't. You can't I can swim. swim. I can forward swim. Yeah, I can. Good... I can do the butterfly. I can't get my legs to do. It's like the. So if you're so if you're if you're like uh, like staying it's, still in the water, I, I don't even go around. I just do this with my legs. I just go like this. Oh, you do the the jelly. Yeah. I just kick out. Like, yeah. It's a, it's it's an exercise. It's an exercise I, though. I can do kicking. I can stay above water, but uh, doing it for these tests, we had to use like tread water for like twenty minutes. It was a minute. It's I exhausting. Don't <laughs> twenty minutes. Well, um, we, this we, was in middle. It was in middle or high school. We did a, our high school. We had to do it for a long time. Yeah, it, it we, got it tiring. It was our water safety class, and we were we the water and environmental Florida, you're near science. Water. Yeah. yeah, just in case you fall into the swamps, you know, because it was all around us. <laughs> oh, did you guys know Brian Land? Tree? No, Brian. No, no. Oh no, we didn't. We did not. He's from Fortunately, Florida, though, right? I was like, that name sounds familiar, but he's it's laundry. It. But yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, we didn't know him because he lived. In, where, did he, where did he live again? I don't even know. I don't even. Yeah, it's. I think it was way up north where they lived. Or no, was it Tampa? 
Tampa, maybe. But I he got know. eaten by the gators, right? Like, they found him in a swamp. No. Uh, no, it was, like, in a forest, I think. It wasn't like, in the water. It yeah. wasn't in the water? He, did get, he got ate by gators? And he didn't kill himself? Let's see. I don't think they, f- they figured out what happened yet. They I just think it's found still kind remains. of a little bit of a mystery going on. Yeah. Do you think they're going to make it? They're going to full, like, 100% make a yeah. documentary about this, oh, right? Oh, and they, it's done. Yeah. It, it reminds me of the, the one documentary we watched where the couple would, like, film everything on Facebook, and she was always, like, filming the kids. Oh, yes. oh yeah. Having, because they used to, like, make YouTube videos. So yeah. I think having all that footage would make it, you know, fun for the documentary. Very Ooh. eerie. The salad that we always watch yeah. on YouTube was just connected to this murder. It's fucking insane. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine what they're going to find on, like, their laptops? Like, all the stuff she cut out of the vlogs. Oh, they'll, if it's deleted, they can still retrieve that. I do. I don't know. I feel like she's a girl who would be like, I don't want to see that. I'll save it into a file. Like, you know right. what I mean? Not like... You know what we I feel would like do. We, I feel like we would do that, but I, I feel like she because her computer probably out on the road, <laughs> the shit would get filled up the storage. I don't know. Oh, but God, can you just imagine like all of your like stuff yeah. we like deleted? <laughs> just you know gets what? Out I guess there. you're not Daisy disking it. So if you don't do that, then it's still somewhere in the computer. If you have to fully, fully remove files, How do you upload videos when you're traveling. You got to find some sort of like Starbucks. That's what we had to do. Okay, what if someone, some divine spirit, like opened up a window and was like, okay. Like Brian Laundry or someone like despicable is out there, right? But they haven't committed the crime yet. And they go, saying he. You got to get to him first. There he is. You got to get him. First. <gasps> I would do it. And you got to handle it. Yeah. You got to make sure that this guy doesn't hurt anyone. If but it you, was, it you was, no, yeah. If it was job. a for sure thing and there was no like second guessing that it, maybe he wouldn't do it. If it was like, hey, this guy's going to go kill his wife tomorrow or girlfriend or family, child, whatever. Yeah, I would do it. Is he armed? No, no, no. But like, but you've watched him now for a few weeks and he like likes to go to Color Me Mine and like do pottery. Oh, so he's sweet? He hikes. <laughs> Eventually he's going to murder. But if, like right if, now he's going to CVS and filling his prescription for like Allegra <laughs> D. So, and I got to go into the CVS to just stop him? You know, you can decide where, but like, are you going to get him oh, when man, he's like- that's rough. At, when he's at Nordstrom Rack, like looking at socks. I can't contact the like, authorities in this hypothetical. No, you gotta handle it. Well, what are they? What are the authorities gonna do? They're gonna be like, um, so one day it's gonna the, happen. The thing is, it's, it's, still, it's still gonna come bite you in the oh, ass because if you stop that. it and you kill him, then now you're the murderer. You're going to jail. Yeah, that you, you're that you're a crazy that, person. Okay, what if you wouldn't? There was no repercussion, but you gotta handle it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're that's saying that's this like you had to do this, and you're trying to convince us, but you had to handle it. <laughs> you had to handle. <laughs> Kind of had, you had no choice, guys. I had no, you had no choice. Had no it's choice. kind of a suicide mission. I would trap it yeah. somewhere. Would yeah. you handle it? Yeah. How would you, you do would, it? I don't know, but maybe I'd figure out so a different way. Come on, wait, where you, you trap him in a <laughs> cage? Be like, I wouldn't, I don't think I could do it in like a violent way. If he was like, you're saying like he was like a hiker and I would, I'd have to like, maybe like trip him off the edge. No, that's good. I couldn't like beat somebody over the head. No, I would, I would lure them in. Like, I'd be like, ow, I'm in pain. Can Push. you come help me? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, gotcha. Like, <laughs> With a, a butterfly, net. butterfly net. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I would home alone it. Like, just, just, Some sort of booby traps. Hands on <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all seen the new Home Alone movie? How did I no. not get asked to be in that? Dude, it is bad. Really? The whole movie is like dark. It's you some of the worst it? lighting I've ever seen. Is your TV broken? Can we see, can we see Dude, the trailer? I thought did something you turn your brightness wrong. up? <laughs> Wait, yeah. Max could be a future Max of Home Alone. He's not got on, the hair. Not on my watch. You don't want him to be a, <laughs> like a... No actor. I, nah, don't don't uh, put the volume not, up. He's not allowed. I respect like that. Little, but yeah. it's gonna it'll mess him up. Look at me. You, think you don't I'm happy? really. We need to you watch this. I just no. wanted to you watch five seconds of it. Okay. <laughs> but look at the lighting, dude. Is, how did? Oh, oh my gosh, no! Look oh, no. how dark it is. The I whole movie been is this dark. Wait, it looks like a Hallmark movie. Mm. I thought it looked pretty good. I was like, oh, the quality. like, it's the same producers that made my shows. It's just the movie is very dark. Was it? Good? No. Uh, really? It no. looks like a Lifetime movie. It does. But who doesn't love a good Lifetime movie? I know. Right? Guilty. <laughs> hey. Josh, we talk about this all the time, but like, why are the cameras so different than what they used to be? It's video. It's not on film. <sighs> they just like, when I watch, yeah. when I watch, like, when I watch, when I watch Drake and Josh, the camera just looks so much better than these like top notch cameras that it's I'm seeing today. because they're getting too like, clear. You know, their movies like Goodfellas and now there's <laughs> no, this. You're no, like, no, like, like when I'm two of Drake and Josh, now that's film. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's a better way to say it, but like, I, I just don't know. Like, I think it's like the, the I think, lens. I think it's too clear. It's too it's clear. It, it, everything it doesn't too feel high relatable. Def. It doesn't feel Yeah, low. exactly. I noticed it when I watched other guys for the first time. 
it hurt my eyes when I was watching it because it was filmed at such a high frame rate that you could like focus on everything in the background too. Like the focal length was super, you know, like deep. So you could just see everything uh, and it didn't feel natural to the eye and right. just kind of like feel uncomfortable watching it. I like when you can kind of see the, the camera moving. Like it's not so steady. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's real. It's <laughs> Why real. are we watching the black? Was this on film or digital? This is a movie I did. Uh, of over 10 years ago. This was on film. Oh, I love this movie. What, what movie. Great movie. The Wackness. So good. The Wackness, 2008. Matt, yeah, Matt and I watched it on our way back from Big Bear. He put it on. I was like, what's this? He's like, Josh Peck's in this. I'm like, huh? Who? We, <laughs> I was like, who? who's that? <laughs> we watched it. And I, I would say that's one of your best movies. The they, it was so you. fucking good. I, I've had Underrated. so many people, like lovely people in a nice way, be like, why don't you do more movies like that? And I'm like, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. Like you have a choice. I'm not turning, like, that's what kills me. Like, it, it's a little bit in like over the last, you know, year or two with comedy, the way it is now. And obviously like you have to be very, you know, you have to walk a fine line if you're a stand up and whatnot, what you can and can't talk about. Yeah. And like when I hear a person go like, is it even okay to be funny right now? I'm like, hold on. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you've got some brilliant special ready to go, but you're just not sure if it's okay to put it out there. Like we're all doing our best to yeah. be funny. Yeah. 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 Don't give me like that. Like if, if it weren't for the current climate, I'd be, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Radio City Music Hall. It's like, nah, bro, you're not holding it back. It, it right. either works or it doesn't. Yeah. You know? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree. You're right. What was your favorite movie that you filmed? I mean, The Wackness, I was pretty proud of. It was a movie, uh, I did it right after Drake and Josh, and it was the kind of movie that I loved. So it was like this independent movie. I play a drug dealer in 1994 who trades wheat for therapy from, uh, from this like drugged out psychologist. And Method Man's in it, and Mary Kate Olsen, and me. Crazy Sir cast. Ben Kingsley. Good cast. It's like, yeah, it's a wild cast. So, I mean, I was, I was super proud of it, and I'm trying to think. I did that movie Red Dawn with mm -hmm. Chris Hemsworth. I like that one, too. <laughs> I played his brother, which I really had no business being in, but... Hey, man, do you know my whole filmography? <laughs> wow. The way you turn around. You know what's funny? Ah, yes. You mentioned Hilary Duff earlier, and she's in a movie that you've been in before. You know what's funny is we were in this movie together, and we were like 20 years old. And so recently when I worked with her, I was like, hey, remember that movie we made like 14 years ago? She had no recollection of me. Anymore. No wow. way. And I think Ooh. we didn't really have many scenes together. And I was like, oh, apparently it meant more to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame her. Cause like that could totally, cause we have like two scenes together. In the yeah. Movie. They're sort of like, and we weren't like chilling a lot during that time. Yeah. But um, I think it's funny. Yeah. Like in this weird roundabout way, she's like, I'm a, I'm a big fan of her. She's like good people. Like I always, I think my biggest fear my entire life is to be, to be that like child actor kid, yeah. never crawl out from that that image. And yeah. in a certain way at 35, I've sort of made peace with that and also made peace with how much success I've had since then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And like, so I look up to people like her who I feel like gives child actors a good name. Yeah, mm -hmm. You know, like, cause I feel like there are so many of us who like, um, Further the stereotype of like you're just a burnout. Yeah, yeah. right. You know? But you did. I feel like you've done a really good job keeping up with the times. Like right. you know what's new, and you try to hit those that market. And like I feel like that's why you're still fucking doing good now. Like you're like you're yeah. able to like just be with everybody as time goes on. I if that makes feel, sense. I feel lucky. Like I don't like there was never a moment when we were doing vines or early on yeah. in YouTube where I was like, I thought that. What got me excited is when we would come up with a bit and do it. Yeah, or we would. I was like, oh, like this is this is no different than what you do if it was like a million dollar production. It's just like we're shooting it on a DSLR and like a a gross couch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the lighting could be better. <laughs> like, but I'm like the 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 artistry of it, as corny as that sound, is still the same. Like, we're trying to beat each other's jokes. We're trying to like elevate the piece. What's the funniest yeah, sort of right. thing? And yeah, I mean, I just, it always made me excited. Yeah. Because I'm a musical theater nerd. Like, I sat in black. You genuinely, theaters. like, love that stuff. Yeah, I sat my whole life, like, being like, okay, here's the premise. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's, and I still go to act, I mean, up until COVID, like, I still went to acting class every week in person. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And, like, wow. scenes from, you know, some, you know, like, from Hamlet, being like, okay, let's stretch. Let's see if this works. works. So it's always, I think, kept me from doing like Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> like, oh, wanna, which is still great. You would be great. Yeah. You would be great. <laughs> yeah. What wow. if like, what if, if you went on Dancing with the Stars though, you'd be better than the pro. Mm. 
Equal. The thing There's is, I was just telling Heath this yesterday. I said, I just had the realization that I can never be on Dancing with the Stars because like, I'm not a huge celebrity and I'm not a professional ballroom dancer. So I couldn't be either of the two. Well, you know? it's a long it's, life. You can still get life. bigger. You yeah. can't, it's still possible. It's possible, but I, I don't know. I don't like, I, I don't understand why they have like really, like they have really good celebrity dancers on already. Like that doesn't make sense to me. Right, right. like Jojo Siwa, Siwa is great on. already. She's a, she's she, a dancer. She's a I think she's awesome yeah. on it, but what? That's not fair. Is it because she's not a ballroom dancer, so it's okay to have her? It's very different. Being a, a dancer, like even if like I went on and I'm a professional dancer, I would it would be really difficult for oh, me. It's okay. Sort of, you do have an advantage because you can count, you have rhythm, like you have technique, which is like the hardest part. Yeah. But ballroom style is I've never taken ballroom in my life. I don't know anything about it. Okay. I know the All difference right. between the styles, but like I would have to start from the ground up. And learn. So it is hard. It's difficult. You have advantages, yes. So if you both started be ballroom so dancing, I could be better than, I could be I better like than you. It would be so challenging for Mariah to do that. You would pick I, it up in a fucking second. Are I feel you, like it would be like be? a like a like a music competition where you you take rappers and then you would have to put them in a yodeling competition. You know what I mean? Right. You're still doing like a, a vocal right. performance, yeah. but it's right. totally different. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Credit Karma. Do you feel overwhelmed when it comes to handling personal finances? Or are you feeling frustrated getting rejected for a credit card and personal loan? It happens way too often. That's why Credit Karma is changing the way people find and apply for cards and loans. Whether you're refinancing credit card debt or paying for an upcoming expense, Credit Karma uses your credit data to show you fresh personal loan offers that are personalized specifically to you. It's completely free and easy to sign up for a Credit Karma account with no effect on your credit score, making it simple to search for the right personal loan for you. Credit Karma will even show you your approval odds so you can choose offers that are more likely to get you approved for and apply with more confidence. And once you have a loan, Credit Karma can help you track your progress as you pay off your debt and even let you know if you can refinance and save. And come on, baby, everybody knows and loves Credit Karma and you can apply with confidence today. So make sure to go to creditkarma.com slash loan offers to find that loan for you. That's creditkarma.com slash loan offers. On Credit Karma, you can check out multiple loan offers side by side. Members who compare loan offers on Credit Karma save an average of 30% on interest rates. So if you're ready to apply right now, head to creditkarma.com slash loan offers to see personalized offers with approval odds just for you. So again, make sure to go to creditkarma.com slash loan offers to find that loan for you. Thank you, Credit Karma. We're going to do a deep dive into your life. So we pulled, oh, we, no. we're, we're pulling up old, old Instagram photos, and then you're going to tell us a little story behind wh how that picture came about. Terrifying. <laughs> so pull, so pull, up the, pull up the first picture. Ooh. Okay, so we have a picture of Josh Peck in a referee outfit, <laughs> and we got Lil Romeo with a tank top. They're both in a tub like a of water. Soaking wet. Soaking wet. He, it looks like an award show or something. I don't know. Good caption though. Lil Asthmatic. <laughs> <laughs> Lil and Romeo. He liked it. <laughs> and he liked, Heath liked it. it. Shout out to Thank John you. Coppola for taking this great photo of <laughs> Lil Romeo. I love like photos like this where you can just tell that I was too cheap to actually buy the image from getting images. <laughs> <laughs> the watermark is just right there. I just want to know why you're in the referee costume. It's, it's a costume and Lil Romeo is just in what Lil Romeo usually wears. Can you imagine if he got dunked and then it's just chain turned to like <laughs> gray? Yeah. Yeah. It just oh, rusts. <laughs> Fakes yeah. over. I, um, this was like the height of Nickelodeon Nickelodeon and like so when you were on a Nickelodeon show they would just randomly ask you they'd be like so we're doing like the fun sports event or like we're doing the sports award was this like oh, the summer swim like summer swim uh, sure oh okay well, well like, Disney had like the, the big the, help the Disney games the Disney, yeah, yeah. The Nickelodeon they're like we'll do a carnival <laughs> <laughs> And so, yeah, I'm sure this was, I'm pretty sure that if I remember correctly, <laughs> Little Romeo was the one in the dunk tank and then me being the shtick machine, <laughs> like, <laughs> me having not met my dad and doing anything I can to win <laughs> anyone's favor and like be like, please come back, dad. Maybe if I'm funny enough, uh -huh. uh, was like, oh, well, I should throw myself in the dunk tank too. That's comedy gold. I'm quirky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And not realizing that when, when water hits clothes, it really like, you know, shrinks to your body. Yeah. <laughs> well, Good thing half of it was black, so you can't see sure. all of it. I love you're pointing at his face, and he's just pointing like at your gut. No, he's got <laughs> oh, he's got a peace sign. sign. It's covered by the Getty image. Oh, you're doing a peace sign. Oh, oh yeah, okay. it's like a little. Yeah. It almost looks like a middle finger. One the way you're in my pocket, looking, and, and the, the other is doing a peace sign. sign. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's hectic. I, I I needed a haircut 
badly. <laughs> like there was, a, there's certainly a season of Drake and Josh where you can see where I'm trying to like figure out where I'm at. Like I went from 300 to like 240, so I'm smaller but not small enough. Okay, so you got like a little bit of confidence. You start. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It. You got some guns now. Is this like some Turner and Hooch like working out? Like some police Maybe. academy? <laughs> I did it for Turner and Hooch, which was this Disney Plus show I did. I um I play a, a U.S. Marshal, and so like you know my my you yep. know, Scott Turner, oh, Turner yeah. and Hooch would have been going after Brian Laundry. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I would have found him, and Hooch would have helped because um, he always has to help. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I uh, yeah, so they were like they did the thing where they were like we would you know we would suggest you get into better shape. <laughs> for saying it without saying it. Yeah, so I did, and I yeah I just started working out. And the funny part is, is that like when I told people, oh, I got this great part and, and uh, now I'm working out for it. And everyone I know who was like an actor would say, oh, when are you going to take steroids? And I was really? like, just, is that a, a normal that a thing? thing? I think it's just assumed. Okay. Wow. That, like, Cause they, wow. they go through transformations like real quick for a role. Real, real quick. We don't have to name names, but we all know who they are. <laughs> yeah. what, what's been like the craziest ask you've ever gotten to play a role? The, Put on weight, lose weight, I just remember, shave your head, like what? I've never gotten like, like, I do think about that at times of like, what would happen if they said like, this is a brilliant part and Spielberg's going to direct it, but we need you to put on 60 pounds. That's insane. I'm not sure I could do it. Where, yeah. What's like the limit? Like what's the cutoff of what you wouldn't do for a role? <laughs> Five. Five pounds. <laughs> so fragile. I worked so hard to get here. So I you so book hard. roles because of who you are. Well, maybe it's just the part calls for a dramatic weight gain or like, like, you know, it's, the famous story is Robert De Niro in Raging Bull, right? So he's playing like a boxer who's like at the height of his career. Mm -hmm. And then it ends and like a lot of, you know, guys like that, like starts putting on weight, starts drinking too much. So it's like drama wise, it's like ripe. Cause like oh, yeah. to be going through that on camera of like yeah. self-loathing, right. but for it to be believable, you got to put the weight on. Right. Yeah. And that's what's the fastest like how do you put on that weight the fastest? Like what do you have oh, to do? I could do that shit real quick. I, no, I mean I know I can eat yeah. like honey buns and eat cake, but like I feel like there's a beer there's, there's faster bread, ways to do it. Alcohol. Just yeah, beer, bread, and just like shit, just junk. There's not like special bars or pills you gotta take to gain there, there mean, faster. Mean girl bars. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. The mean girls like is that real? Like that is there, exists, yeah. That exists. Okay. But Super like high calorie. They're called rations bars. Like in a bar this big, but it's like I mean it's like eating chalk is like two thousand it's everything wow. you should eat. Wow. But yeah. like it's way more fun to just like how's a box of Krispy Kreme. Yeah. Exactly. You don't yeah. need to do that. How fast do you think you, uh, everyone here could put on sixty pounds? How honestly two months. I'm not answering. No, a year. I think Heath is the fastest. I, I feel like this side couldn't. My metabolism no. is way too fast. Heath, yeah. fat, Heath uh, won first place. I'd win second place. It'd be like a landslide. Right. I'll the, have one slip up and I'll gain five, 10 pounds. And it just comes on so like, cause we got, we got the fat cells, you know, we developed them. And we, hey, hey, that's good. We okay. got the yeah. fat cells, but it's something. <laughs> um, but you can't get rid of them. They just shrink. Right. So it's so easy for like my weight to fluctuate. Like I lose weight really quick, but then I also put it on even faster. Yeah. So I, I no joke think in two months I could put on 60 pounds. I think so too. I think I could maybe do it in one month. Yeah. Really? I would do it for like a $10 million gig, you know? Yo, what give, I mean? me a, like a give me a give me a bad roll. weekend. I'm yeah. up 15 pounds. You know what I mean? Like put me on a cruise ship and I'll fucking get that <laughs> yeah. shit quick. Isn't it amazing when you go up like I can go up 10 pounds in a day? Yeah. Huh? Like just swing. Oh yeah. Really? Oh, <laughs> I love that you don't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, must yeah. be nice. <sighs> you just hop on the scale and you're like, wow. Like, uh, there's a two here. This hurts. Yeah. Like, there shouldn't be a two. It's the yeah. first number. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, oh no. And, oh, <laughs> what did no. I do? <laughs> oh no. And and you just yeah, it's wow. wow. It, like it sucks having to eat healthy food and what's your, miserable. What's your guilty pleasure? It depends. It, it depends on mood. It, like I love Chinese food. Yeah. Like greasy. Mm. Like, some and, Zhongguo Thai. Yeah. And I want to have like, I want to do it family style, but I'm a one man family. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I want to order like eight things. Because you I want the have, variety. Yeah. I'm I, the same way. Like I, I love now. having like a bunch of different options, but then I just end up eating all of it because I was also raised to like finish your plate no matter how full you are. Right. Yeah. And I will just be so gluttonous. And just go into like a frenzy. Yeah. And then I'll just completely like lay still for 12 hours after. Like the yeah. other day, the other day I um decided, oh, I want to see which one's better, Domino's or uh, Pizza Hut. So I ordered both boxes. Oh my God. I ordered both boxes because I was bored. It was and a Saturday night. It? And I ate one. I was <laughs> no, like, I ate the other. I was like, hmm, Domino's a little better. And I was like, 
No, I ate, I ate both boxes. Oh, I ate dang. both the boxes. Oh my gosh. Like, Let me give you a second chance. <laughs> I don't want to judge too quick. <laughs> exactly. And okay, Domino's, you can you can try again. So yeah, it's like just weak, just weak. When I was struggling with money, I like had to pick a job, and I was like, I kind of want to work at a restaurant. So I picked a restaurant that like I knew. Like I wasn't able to like afford every meal of the day. So I was like, okay, I can eat for free at my job. Like what would I want to eat every day? Mm -hmm. And I picked Panda Express because I <laughs> love, you love. love Chinese food. So I got to eat it every single day. And, I'll, and that was my like big meal, but I didn't have to pay for it. I love that. That's thing. nice. Oh God, it's so good. It's so good. It's like American Chinese cuisine. It's yeah. like Americanized. Oh, yeah. It's not it like authentic, spot. but it's so good. good I still love it. it. I ate it every single day and I never got sick of it. It's God so good. took time. God took his time with Panda. <laughs> All right, next picture. Oh, this one's interesting. We have Josh with Jennifer Garner at an award show. It looks like you guys are speaking into a microphone. But she's you saying are a graphic tea to an award It looks like show. she's silencing. She's silencing you. It's yeah. echo. Oh wow. It's an. It's echo. Oh, it's an. Were, were no, si it's an echo. <laughs> if you see the full body of this outfit, I'm wearing Jerbo jeans. No way. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I remember when those were he popping. Was probably wearing like Etnies too. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, those are. I remember when I was 14 and I was a big dude and I never felt comfortable. In clothes and then like I went to a store that was like pure players and e nice and like wow. Google Platinum uh -huh. and Echo and I was like oh these are clothes made for me <laughs> like, <laughs> and for four years like that was all that I wore hence the my incredible <laughs> my incredible drip. Were you silent or were you silent? <laughs> I remember <laughs> this specifically where like they write you some awful banter for like an award show speech and I was like, oh, I know. Is she wearing a true religion jacket? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember that I improv Like, she's supposed to say, like, something. I was, like, we're supposed to, like, I don't know what the premise was, except that we're supposed to, like, hold her to task. Like, where we're like, yeah, come on, Jennifer. Like, don't you think this is cool? And she's like, well, I'm not sure. And so I was like, oh, I'm just going to improvise. What's up, Garner? <laughs> and I said that. Uh -huh. And I remember oh, her I looking at me like. I'm Jennifer Garner. You're not going to improvise near me. Oh, <laughs> man. Like, and I remember her doing this, and I was like, okay. Oh, wow. But that's but like, you. That's she did you. it in an adorable... If you watch the clip, she did it in... A, she's. We actually made a movie together years after, and I never brought up this photo, but I'm like, you. Oh, she's been lovely for a decade. Yeah. Like, yeah. She's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, saw, I saw her at like a little uh, town market one time, like sitting in the <gasps> back, just like reading. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I just want to go up to her and say hi. But she's reading at a little like market like place. I was like, I can't, can't bug her. It's one of those situations where you want to say I'm hi, reading. but you just like, what would you even say? Yeah, just like a few people. There's a few people I just want to like go and be like, hey, you're beautiful. I love you, by the way. She's Good awesome. Morning. I remember yeah. I, <laughs> I randomly, so we made this movie together and I, I just had a few scenes in it, but it was an incredible, it was a sick cast. It was her, Al Pacino. Christopher Plummer, like wow, Annette Benning. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love you. Matt. I have a T-shirt oh. that just says Annette Benning. <laughs> <laughs> you get me. Yeah. And she was there, and so we went out for this cast dinner, and I it was only in like three scenes in the movie, but they were nice enough to invite me. And this was when she was married to Ben Affleck. Yeah. So she's like sharing this story. I don't think I'm saying anything out of turn here. She's sharing like she's sharing this adorable story about like. Oh, like I love to bake and my kids love it. And my husband winds up eating half the tray too. And I wanted to be like, you mean Ben Affleck? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be like, just call him Ben Affleck. <laughs> I know, we know. You're so good at captions. Whoa, look at this picture. Oh, wow, that, what a picture. That should be in the history yeah, that, books. That, that, yeah. That should be framed in a museum. Okay, so wow. uh, so this is a picture definitely back in the Nickelodeon days. We got uh, Ned's Declassified guy. What's is his, that what's Jamie his real Lynn Spears? That's Evan, Jamie, yeah, Lynn, Jamie Lynn, Emma Roberts, Lil Romeo once again, and Josh Peck with the leather jacket. Oh, man. <laughs> when uh, the cool kids let you sit <laughs> at their table. <laughs> Dude. I'm, I'm guessing that happened. This was, yeah, this was like, again, in between weights. Um, on my way to my goal and I'm wearing a leather jacket. The hair's a little too long. I don't feel comfortable in my own skin <laughs> and I'm just there like, and I'm trying to look cool in the photo, but I don't know if it's working. Did you guys like, as like Nickelodeon stars, did y'all watch each other's show or was it so. everyone in their own worlds? Just like, Oh, you know, I, I don't know. Oh yeah. Zoe 101. Cool. Awesome. Right. Seems like it's going well. You guys got another season, but like you didn't watch what everyone else was doing. It was truly our own bubbles, but even more so, and I think this like trips people out, especially of like the generation, right? Cause I'm 35, so I'm like older than you guys. The the people in their twenties can't really comprehend the fact that like, when we were making the show, no one cared about it. Yeah. It was not like, so whenever someone's like, oh, like what was it like, like having a hit show? And I'm like, 
you have to understand like nine year olds watched it mm-hmm. like because I was 16 but that was it yeah so all right make this show and it was so fun and it was so dope that we got to do it but then you'd go home and like you'd be a total like civilian have a normal uh-huh. good right. life and it's only been through like reruns and memes gotcha. and internet culture that now like people sort of revere it and have discovered it. And it's like, yeah. that's cool. Because yeah. when you're filming it, you don't know it's big. So it's like, there's no like. You have this, no idea. And everyone, was, the whole world's going to see this. And it's no like social media, right? So yeah. It's right. Like, if you were on Stranger Things. You don't from, get to see the comments and like the views. You don't. Right. Yeah. Wow. Because the celebrity, like if you were, if you were on the, you know, if you're the original kids from Stranger Things and it premieres on Netflix on a Friday night, by Monday morning, you're a massive star. It's yeah. fucking nuts. Yeah. yeah. Your life is changed. This was like, we finished when I was like, by the time we finished the show when I was 19, it was like a small amount of people noticing you. But again, like it was the first generation of fans. So they started at nine and now they were like. 14. Yeah. 14. Yeah. Wow. It's so, like The Office. Like when The Office was airing on TV, like nobody really knew those people. But now that it's the reruns and it's on Netflix yeah. and they're memes and like everybody watches it, when you see them in person, it's like, oh. Yeah. We saw Angela a couple of nights ago oh, when yeah. we were walking to dinner. Down the block, I heard. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's sick. She should come on. We're, yeah, I know. I was like, hey, should I just go up to her and just do it? And he's like, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I'm like, probably okay. not. <laughs> So were y'all drinking though in this picture? Like, <laughs> yeah. what, what was the conversation? Like, what served? were you guys talking Did about? Did they serve you alcohol? Like, Nickelodeon? <laughs> I can't. We uh, is it just random that like Zane you're mentioned in this one, Heath was mentioned in the other one? Like, oh yeah, us liking it. That's unbelievable. Um, yeah, big fans, I, man, big fans. So much love. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if we're. I, I don't think there were any particular parties where we were like, you know, drunk. Yeah, <laughs> in, in seventeen. <laughs> I don't think that happened at at a a sanctioned event. Who was the biggest partier though, like behind the scenes in Nickelodeon? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, again, like I I got I became a real cliche around like seventeen eighteen, where I was like sowing my wild oats and going out to clubs and just being like a total yeah. stereotypical child actor with like a, just a very little bit of money. Yeah, <laughs> um, and I did that till twenty one, and thank God there were no camera phones. Right, so I kind of slightly did it in private, like oh, unless you were wow. at that's nice. Unless you're at this club, you know, Le Doux, <laughs> right? In like two thousand seven, you're like, what's you know, yeah. Why is Josh Beck drinking hypnotic from the bottle? <laughs> <laughs> hypnotic, no. Like I wasn't, you know. So I mean, I'm sure I would imagine everyone in that photo def- certainly. It looks like a screenshot time. from like filming because like it just looks too perfectly staged, like choreographed. Yeah, exactly. It's odd. All like girls nice laugh people. at each other in the back, and boys just like look cool. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> right. Wow. Oh, oh wow. wow. This is a big one. We have Josh with Ariana Grande. <laughs> Nickelodeon Ariana Grande, it yeah. seems like. This one got David. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> David commented that. Um, How long ago was this? This was, I think I'm like 22 there. So yeah, like 12, 13 years ago. I mean, she, she was wow. definitely on iPhone 4, years. iPhone 4, definitely. So whatever you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's you look what, great here. You look great here. Yeah. Thank you. I, um, I just remember like she was on Victorious and that was created by the same guy who created our show. And it was like, it wasn't a thing. Like, she had like this incredible voice, but she was like one of many talented people on the show. Yeah. She was just, like, I, Ariana specifically, like I always felt uh, besides her always being like incredibly like lovely and nice. Like she's like a, a musical theater kid from Boca, from mm-hmm. Florida. Like, and I lived in Boca for years growing up. So I'm like, Oh, I know you. Yeah. Like, I grew up with kids like you and her moms were like really nice. And took a liking to me and would, like randomly invite me out when they'd have like steak dinners. And uh-huh. stuff. That's sweet. So cool. it just was like, and then to, but like you'd hear her sing. And I remember once when I was just dating my wife, Paige, Paige was like walking through their house one day. Cause we all went over for dinner one time and Ariana's just like practicing singing in a bathroom. Imagine hearing that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I, I'd just be like eat, <laughs> eating your steak. You got to take the potty real wow. quick. And, and my wife Paige like walks by the bathroom and Ariana goes like, Sorry, it's or she's like sorry. <laughs> she's like sorry, sorry just like singing. the acoustics are really crazy in here. Was she yeah. singing Wicked? <laughs> it was just good. Has she has she always been soft, like very like hi I, a this time bit. and now? I I don't I don't think I noticed it much like when we were you know first hanging out, but it's just like there are certain people. It was her, and then when I did Red Dawn with I played Chris Hemsworth's 
brother, because obviously the casting people for Red Dawn were blind. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, yeah, we could see this. <laughs> and, uh, and Chris had booked um, Thor but hadn't done it yet. So uh-huh. this was like the months prior. And you meet someone like him, and this goes for Ariana too. I'm like, you're so nice, you're beautiful, and you're talented. Talk, I'm saying this to Chris Hemsworth's face. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, you're not for this world. I'm like, you, like you're not going to be a civilian much longer. <laughs> you need to elevate. Wow. That well, that was pretty true. But yeah, Thor. Nice. <laughs> like, you need to leave this world and start like only eating caviar. Right? <laughs> and that happened very quickly after. And like, <sighs> people will ask me, they're like, do you keep in touch with Chris? I'm like, come on. He's a superhero now. I Why can't. would I? Superstar. He doesn't talk to us <laughs> little humans anymore. And I'm sure you would want to talk to me. I'm like, but I'm like, he's too successful. It's I'm too fragile. Yeah. Like I can't help but compare and despair. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how Liam's doing. I don't know. He had a big scare with his kale thing or whatever. He had kidney stones. Oh, like, really? Don't, we don't need to talk about it yet. Right. He overheard a conversation he, he had at a restaurant. It's like, oh, man, this is private. There you go. <laughs> I love her. Oh, <laughs> too. She's oh, Victoria so Justice. And she's pointing at you. Finally. A, There's lot, a lot of no, pointing here. Like three seconds before this photo, you just see me there going like, it's <laughs> <laughs> enough of that <laughs> so you were definitely drinking at this part <laughs> i yeah i was uh, uh i see zane and he didn't like the photo um no <laughs> yeah sorry this is this one was like i get it very interesting yeah her too like uh, i'm like why are you so nice and and beautiful and talented like She's just cool. I have I, I can only say great things about her. She had a show that only lasted like one season and it ended up being like one of my favorite shows. It was called Eye Candy. Oh and it was like it was basically that. like her first like or from what I can remember, her first role breaking out into like a mature, like adult. It was like they had like it was basically like Tinder dating or whatever, but one of them was like a serial killer. Yeah. So she went on Tinder to try to crack the code. Oh, and that like, sounds fun. She would go on all these dates and try to see like who this serial killer yeah. was and stuff. And it was insane. I think it was like one or two seasons. What, on what? Such a good show. It it was on TV. Like I would watch it. Like oh, got it. Okay. Um, I, I thought it was like a Disney Channel movie. I was, or a Disney Channel show. I was like, oh. No, she was an adult. <laughs> like she was like making out and like having sex. Oh like, god. <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah. In my head, Disney Channel, I'm like serial killers. Hmm, interesting. They're really uh. <laughs> Wait, that's funny with the peace sign because Heath always does the peace sign, oh and then I just I just started doing this to him because I'm like, you're 28 now, like you don't. Have to <laughs> I just don't know what it's to do in pictures. It's a bad habit. It's a habit, yeah. Because I feel like if I keep my hands down, then I just look unhappy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you're just like, just, you have you gotta like, you know, uh-huh. or you got you gotta start doing these, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing oh. worse than a thumbs up. <laughs> like, so I just. <laughs> yeah, sorry, like it's okay. I, I I've been doing the the waves, which is weird. I'm just like. <laughs> Like uh, it's like almost candid. Like you're saying hi right. to somebody behind the camera. Just like <laughs> that's yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good though. Yeah. yeah. This is my go-to pose because okay, look how my arm looks there. Like not bad, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah kind of like I do like here. I, I don't know how to do it here. <laughs> this is only for the video portion. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I like tuck in the arm. So it's oh, a little flex nails. a little, push it oh, up against oh, the body. Uh, I, I feel like you, you would do write that. Write that down. Write that I down. Don't show teeth because I have an underbite. <laughs> yeah. And then, like hence the list. <laughs> and then, like, I know, good. <laughs> That's good. Wow. Yeah, it's my go-to. I love that. For anyone listening, uh, that was a great bit. <laughs> I, need, I need to figure my pose out. I still haven't figured it out after all these years. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of the podcast, Native. Mm, you know I love the smell of the seasons, baby. Thanks mm. to Native's new seasonal scents. My favorites are with me wherever I go. Yes, I am talking about their deodorants, baby. And baby, we know you sure need it. That's uh, okay, though. Don't do me like now that. Now that we got Native. What's great about this deodorant is that it's formulated with the ingredients that we've all actually heard of, like coconut oil and shea butter. Native deodorant never uses aluminum, parabens, or sulfates. Mm. Mm. and still keeps you smelling amazingly fresh all day, and I can attest to it. With classics and rotating seasonals, Native has deodorant set for everyone now, including their new holiday-inspired collection. Mm, like candy cane, sugar cookie, and, and fresh Miss Alelito. You know it. Miss Alelito. Miss Alelito. Who you been kissing? And guys, Native is not only good for you. It's good for the planet too, baby. It's made out of 100% paperboard packaging. They are vegan and never test on animals. And we're not alone in loving Native. They have over 15,000 Five star reviews. So we know you're gonna love them too. Honestly, the candy cane smell, you just, you wake up feeling like Christmas morning, you put it on and you're just like, wow. And to be honest, I've never really liked the uh, deodorants that had aluminum in it Mm -mm. because that, that, 
It just it's, makes it, me it's sad. Gotta, it's got to be bad for you. Exactly. So keep the sense of the season with you with Native's limited time holiday season deodorants. So make sure to go to nativedeo.com slash unfiltered or use promo code unfiltered at checkout and get 20% off your first order. That's nativedeo.com slash unfiltered or use promo code unfiltered at checkout for 20% off your first order. Thank you, Native, for sponsoring today's podcast. Thank you for keeping us smelling like Christmas morning every day. I really appreciate it. I need to I need to try the sugar cookie one because I love now, the sugar now cookie. Now Zane is bearable to be around. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Native. Thank you. Wow. <gasps> okay, Wait, who this is, is the set of Max Keeble's big move, right? Mm, yes. Bro. After the food fight. Oh. <laughs> the food <laughs> fight. Oh, was that Oprah? Yeah, it was a pretty. I, I remember doing this right after Drake and Josh the first season, and so it was a little like, "Whoa, you're going to Disney!" And like, oh wow, oh, competition. Right. And I'm like, oh, we go where the money is. I'm a, I'm a freelancer, baby. <laughs> yeah. And then you also uh, did a movie with her, Snow Day, as well, right? That's yeah. the girl from Snow Day. My yes. first movie. Zena. Listen to the wind. <laughs> is she still? Is she still acting? Is she still in stuff today? I would assume so. Yeah, I hope so. Is. What's her name? What's her name? Um, Zena. 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 Yeah. Oh, wait, okay. I, I do you remember the Disney Channel movie surfers? Yes. yes. Of course. Okay. Well, and they would like talk about movies. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then one of the kids was got to be uh, go on set for Max Keeble's big move, and then he got to be in the the food fight scene. Right. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's. I, I just remember that as like a scene in Max Keeble's big move is one of the movie surfers got to have like a line in it. Oh, wow. Um, Damn, that's a really cool fucking like. Yeah, we should do that. Accurate. We should do that for this. Can, and then yeah. they get to come on. Can you get us like just to be an extra in like something you're yeah. in? Yeah, I want in the background. I that's all we're asking. I want. Josh. I want to. I want to be an extra. I just want my face to be in the camera for five seconds or one second, just so I can like. Post it. Pull some strings, I, I Russ. It's so easy to be an extra. It is. It can yeah, you can percent happen. It's just yeah. a long day. It's like you're there all day. Right. That's, yeah. that's like what we, it is. we like that's you just have to like do things. We have friends that you can just like go and like get a day rate and just be an extra in whatever yeah. it ends up being. Mm -hmm. You get so you have to get really good at. I hear extras get yelled at all the time because you have to be an expert at pantomime. Yeah. Right? So they'd be like, if you're in the background of a restaurant scene, you have to be there being like. <laughs> yeah, oh, we, would, did, we did that. We did that for a show, right? But then, so then they always get yelled at if they like dare make a peep during it, right? Because uh -huh. like, right. like you can only hear the actors <laughs> talking, and then you know, there's you know, you get fed, they pay you well, it's a long day. But I will say this: we're all <clears throat> ruined as far as like being entrepreneurial in the way we all are, and like doing this and YouTube and like all the social media stuff and all your businesses. When you're <clears throat> sitting on a set, especially if you're like an extra, so there's not a lot to do except like waiting to be told what, you will literally start counting the seconds because you'll be like, I can be making a video right now. Right. I could yeah. be starting another company. I could be doing it because it's just like a lot of time. Mm -hmm. really. Yeah. So like I, I feel like any <clears throat> of like I, obviously for me, like it's the thing I've always done since I was a kid. So it, it's where my heart is. But I feel like for you guys, if you got called in for a 14 hour day. Would it kill you? I, um, I think just as long as before for uh, months, not like a one off. Like you're gonna you're gonna now be in oh this yeah. movie for the next three months. Before hours before we started Vine, I was uh, an extra in uh, Rock of Ages, and I loved it. I thought really? it was the coolest thing in the world. Just being on set, you get to like hang out. But yeah, I thought it was really fun. I think obviously like doing now what we do. It'd be a test it would of be, patience yeah. for sure. It would be totally different. But if we didn't do this, I would love to go do that. I thought it was so much fun. Yeah. You get good food. You get to go up to like little trucks and stuff. And he was getting eat. paid good too. Yeah. It was like two months of it. And I was like, this is cool. Better than working at Paxon every day <laughs> from <laughs> nine to five. Yeah. So or Twin Peaks. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Oh, wow. what in the what Oh my it? God. Oh, I was like, Devin, whose page are you on? This is, this is Josh's page. It's like Dare a, to dream. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I posted uh, this. For the people listening, this is like a face morph of a Josh's face and Oprah's face. Oh. You, you want to see what your child would look like. That's pretty, that's like, it's almost like psychopath. <laughs> this is, it is really a creepy. I mean, this is an old post because you have like hashtag happy Friday. Yeah, happy, hashtag yeah. Oprah, hashtag Josh. How upsetting is it that Oprah doesn't have kids? I I, I thought of it's that really right when we were talking about her. That was in my head. I didn't want to call her out on not reproducing. Like but. she won't be passed on. You know? Yeah. Just a legend. Yeah. Hey! Oh, Adaya. 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 The best. 
I remember this. Thing. Well, yeah. So uh, tell us a little something about that. How's that experience? It was really outstanding. Nice. Okay. <laughs> and, you, of, uh, and you didn't hug her, which is good. You, 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 you did the hover hug. Well, this is a thing, right? What's it called? The gap. The gap. Yeah. Yeah. The gap. My little sister can't touch any other man. So it looks like a gap ad. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does look like a beautifully di diverse ad campaign. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my hair. Oh. So I went through a really rough hair phase, and I'm only now coming out of it 30 years later. I, I, I didn't that. mind that hair on I, you. That hair is good. I remember this. That's this is something called the Brazilian blowout, guys. Let me tell you <laughs> what you have to do. Oh, you were you straining it? So first you go in, and they put a product in your hair. Then they flat iron. Or no. Yeah, they flat iron it, so they bake it into your hair. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Then they have to give you a blowout like you're a 50s housewife. Ooh, horrible for your hair. So like there. And then they flat iron it again to oh like Jesus. really set the product. And then you have to let it, you have to, you can't like put water on it for like a, a few day days. Yeah. yeah. And so that's what I was working with. And it just like goes to show like embrace who you really are because <laughs> that hair is Don't just change not working it. for anyone. Because obviously people saw like a change in your hair. So were, were they just like, nice hair, what'd you do to it? Like, would they ask questions or were they kind of just let you? Yeah, people would call it out. They'd be like, what's going on? <laughs> Everything okay? I'd be like, this is me now. So is that is it. that considered a perm? Well, uh, I always think the of a perm, perm is curly. Permanent. Well, you could do a, you could do a perm straight or a perm curly, right? Right, but that's what, and I did that for a long time too, which is just like the creamy, like smells terrible, and literally it's so bad for your hair, and it's just like, and they comb it through. Right, <laughs> right. I did that every other month for ten years. Wow, oh, man. Yeah, I was. Not I'm happy surprised you have hair on your yeah, head. Yeah, you still. have gray hair Thank for you. all hair. that. If I did that, if I did it once. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'd be done. I bleached my hair and dyed it once, and I think that I think that like brought my airline back more. <gasps> That's not real. That isn't real. <laughs> no, that looks fake. And I, he it's looks a like he was photoshopped. Of Drake, oh, because it's Drake and Josh. That's why you did it. Uh, okay, uh, this might be real. I don't know. Drake I know it's not that short. I know where this photo was taken, and uh -huh. it was at a can. It was in Kansas City at a celebrity basketball tournament. What? I know. I got asked to be on celebrity basketball teams for a good five years. I was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I think I scored a total of like four points in my whole goal. I remember it's better than nothing. <laughs> the, the one time that I was in a celebrity basketball game and I got fouled putting up a shot. Yeah. So they're like, "Oh, go to the free throw line and put up your shots." The coach goes, "Sub them out." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, did you no. want to play in those tournaments or did you have to? Because like Piero was like, you got to play in these games. It, you know, you get asked and you get, to, first of all, you get to go to the cities. You get all this free stuff. It's a great time except for the dumb game. Yeah. <laughs> and so they're like, I, and I remember just some like famous ass people. Like we played in a league. So this is like a thing that, that exists on Sundays. There was yeah. a celebrity league and it was like eight teams and you get like full gear, real NBA referees. You play in a beautiful gymnasium, oh, wow. food trucks. And so, like, most of the teams were either people like me or, like, the fifth runner-up on Survivor, right? Like, that was the level of celebrity. But then, like, Adam Sandler. Oh, uh, I heard he balls. Justin Timberlake. He still does today. Yeah. And I think the whole thing got, got closed down because, like, homeboy, like, fifth runner-up on The Voice would, like, body Adam Sandler. Yeah. <laughs> like, people would, like, blow out an ACL, like, <laughs> getting, like, hard fouled by the dude from, like, a commercial for Cialis. Yeah. <laughs> and they'd be like, we can't have this anymore. Yeah. Especially when you, since you know who's watching, you kind of, you want to go a little hard. You want to be the fucking best. Yeah. You know? In those games. So I think this picture is real. Unless his someone, face looks like it looks photoshopped. Yeah. But the but the but the his hand over is pretty convincing. I wait, actually that might not be your face. Do you remember having that shirt? I have that one hundred percent had a billionaire boys club purple <laughs> purple crew neck sweater. What if this was just a little Romeo, a picture of you, little Romeo, and they just put <laughs> Oh wait, you know what? I think Drake is actually not that tall. Really? Yeah. Am I older than Drake? Or are we the same age? Might be the same. Same age, I think. Because like maybe he just didn't maybe I went through a growth spurt. He looks sooner. really little in that. Wait, and this was so old though, he's too. Not he's not. Because remember that show he was in uh with oh, Degrassi? He's 30, he's 30 Degrassi? When Degrassi? 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 Degrassi. I'm the November. same little boy he's that October. used to play up on the grass at Epic twenty thousand two beginning with it. Really? He's a Scorpio too? I don't know. Did you guys that what that means? October twenty fourth, nineteen eighty six? Yeah. You definitely had that conversation. Both Jewish? <laughs> we could really well, uh, yeah no wow, he, hold on, wait he's it Jewish checks out yeah Drake's half Jewish oh okay we could really yeah we could really hit it off okay good to know yeah. perfect I got I got we, lots repost it we might this was <laughs> the worst okay 
Oh, what? Janet, Janet Jackson? Jackson? Janet Jackson. I, okay. Oh, I auditioned for her Was once. this before <laughs> Nip Slip or after? This was after. And I remember she was like, can I hold down to your arm as we walk out? Like, I don't know if her, like, shoes were a little, <laughs> I, I don't know what. I was like, of course you can, Janet Jackson. Yeah. And then Dum Dum Me decides to do, make a statement, uh, suspenders choice. And as we're walking out, it's, fu- look, it's halfway down my shoulder there. And I'm like. <laughs> And I'm like keeping up this suspender. Oh next no! To Janet Jackson. Oh no! And I was like, this was a terrible, terrible mistake. Her bangles are Rookie getting caught mistake. on it. Is this, the, is this the Nick? Is this the Kids Choice Awards? Or it was. So were you Janet sta- Jackson though? Like the kids are gonna go nuts for Janet Jackson. Were you standing like that the whole time, or did you have to like awkwardly put it back on your pants? Oh yeah! Throughout? If you watch the oh, clip, no. I had to like re re harness it to my shoulder. Oh fuck! It was such a mistake, but. Yeah, Janet was lovely. But to your point, like, there's certainly, I think I've always had a, a slight resentment against Nickelodeon that they never asked me to host the Kids' Choice Awards. Yeah. <laughs> that is surprising. That is. And they'll be like, oh, like, isn't it awesome we got, I don't know, like, because you'll get people like John Cena where I'm like, yeah, everyone loves John Cena. Yeah, but you right. can't see him. <laughs> Very good, Mariah. <laughs> but, like, they'll get certain grown-ups where I'll be like, kids don't care about him. <laughs> like, yeah. And, but, yeah, never. Huh. I was John Cena once for Halloween. <laughs> oh, how were you John Cena for Halloween? Because I'm a girl. I can't be him. Were, I'm, just, I'm just like, what? Like, were you wearing had, like fake was, muscles? What was it? No, it was when uh, <laughs> it was like the 2000s. So I had like the jean shorts, the big jean shorts that go below my knee. Mm-hmm. And then I had like this. I went to Home Depot and got like this giant chain and lock that he used to wear. And then uh, I put on like a guinea tee. And then like I had the, the sideways hat. Like I looked like Oh, that. I thought you had like the blow up like... <laughs> Like Sponge Sponge Bob Bob yeah. <laughs> wow. Man, I've Whoa. Had, I've had, Dave Chappelle. I've had Hold quite on. the career. Wait, who is that? Yeah. Dave You're Chappelle? like looking back. I that's did Dave this. Chappelle. I've had quite that the is, life. That's Dave Chappelle? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you look so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, you look like Max. Dave Chappelle like is wow. sitting at a piano. You're next to him. And who's who's the little girl? Tavia. She was my friend from... from we did the show every morning or like every couple weeks. It was called Fox After Breakfast. Okay. <laughs> And it was we it, when I was living in New York, and they would bring like kids on to talk about like kids stuff. Yeah. So we'd be like, this new, you know, these Dunkaroos are the bomb, or like this is the new movie we're into. <laughs> and I'll never forget. I was doing stand up comedy at that age because I was overweight and never met my dad. And <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and it was like, oh, it's the only thing that'll give me uh, confidence. So I'm ten year old stand up, and I like look, and they like say, oh, you know, Dave, Josh does stand up too. And I was like, yeah, we're stand-up buddies. Oh. And Dave goes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> just dabs me up. And I'm like, thank you for being so kind, Dave That's Chabelle. That's really cool. That's awesome, man. I love the wow. little Halloween vest you have. Yeah, it's I love that. It's really adorable. On, on Christmas? <laughs> Vests were sort of my look at that time. But yeah, look how young Dave Chappelle looks. I didn't even recognize him. That's crazy. Just a kid. That's really, that's iconic. This is weird. This has been great. What a dive. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Do you like, because I've heard a lot of people that were, you know, child stars, they look back at their careers and they don't remember filming any of the shows. Like they, they have a hard time being like, okay, yeah, I remember. Uh, I was in this. That's like when so you, crazy. When you see drugs. something like this, that's the drugs. Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> at this time, at the time, I remember that. I, yeah, I remember. I remember it all. Okay. Yeah, I think. That's great. <laughs> Frankie think. Muniz is the one who doesn't remember. I know. Yeah, he doesn't have any recollection. How? I think that was because of an injury he had. That's an, right. Oh, he had like really? a head injury. Oh, oh wow. I don't, I don't know. There's something that happened. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. He lives in Phoenix now. Really. It's a fun fact about does he still either. does he what <laughs> he races cars and stuff right isn't he really into cars I think so oh yeah. kind of like the the show. was it the show or movie was it in the show or the movie where he ra- he's racing in those in that car oh those? a miracle in lane miracle too in lane. <laughs> <laughs> the soapbox derby <laughs> <laughs> because he's like in a wheelchair and that's his like one activity he yeah does. yeah that was a great movie oh and then you know in the movie though he has like a uh, something wrong with his head or whatever oh and really he, like, passes out I have Jeez, so much that. respect for people who start acting young and are able to get out if they want to if they're mm. like because to me I feel like it's so hard on the old ego to like walk away and then you become like a real estate agent in Dallas mm-hmm. maybe. Yeah. Who knows? and like and they're like you're never no matter how many houses you sell you're always going to be the guy from that show who's now now a real estate agent yeah, yeah. And a lot of people is that good or bad I guess it just depends on who you are like but like if Frankie's living in Phoenix racing cars and like I don't need to audition anymore I'm like Good for you. Yeah. yeah. Get out. Your best cool. life. Charlie from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is a vet. A farm vet. Yeah. No, that's no really way. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. 
Wow. Who are some other stars? Oh, I was looking I up like... the kid who was in the Santa Claus movie. Mm. Him, I looked up the other day, and he's he has a girlfriend. I think he does some like behind the scenes production stuff, but it's just so wild. Like uh, yeah. just looking at his account and him being like next to a massive like yeah. poster of the Santa Claus, and it's just like that was you. Like as soon as you see someone on TV, you just imagine their whole life is this crazy like mm -hmm. on camera at all times life. Like we were at um. Mrs. Robinson's the other night and Beans was there. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. We're just like hanging out with him the whole night. Sweetest dude. And I was just like, this is so cool. You're Beans. <laughs> he I was don't like, think he wants to hear that. He was like, that's Beans. I was like, Heath, I don't think that's me. He just really looks like him. There's no way that's Beans. Like, no, no, it's Beans. I met him the other night. I was like, oh my God. Dude, yeah. me and Beans are on a first name basis. <laughs> 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 the Olsen twins are billionaires. They, are they yeah, really? They're, they're crazy. They're in the fashion yeah. industry now. Like they're like, They've been doing the thing. Wow. I remember when it was like when Fuller House came back and it was like sort of a big um, thing on the news of like, oh, like they're, they were the only part of that show that didn't come back. Mm -hmm. And I was like, neither would I. Yeah. Right. Like, I'm you sorry. You don't even I'm, remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Being a, you know, a mogul. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Wait, you like a lot. You, wait, you were, isn't Mary Kate Olsen was in The Wackness, right? Yeah, yeah. Did y'all like smoke weed together in the movie? We did. Did you smoke weed behind the scene with Mary Kate Olsen? I didn't, but I asked her on a date. <gasps> oh. oh, while filming, or was this after, <laughs> or after you were done? Not really. Okay, so here's the story. We're filming; it's an all night shoot, and uh -huh. like in the scene, she like kind of has to be like flirtatious with me and whatnot. But it's like I'm smart enough to like not get that confused. I'm like, maybe she. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? No, I think she really likes me. <laughs> I'm like, maybe she's just a good actor. So. You know, I remember this like this dude Marcus who was the one of the ads. I'm like sitting; it's like two in the morning, and he's like, "Bro, Mary Kate, I feel like she kind of likes you, bro." <laughs> oh, and I'm like, "I don't oh, think no. so. I don't think I have anything to offer Mary Kate." <laughs> he's like, "Bro, you're not the character in the movie, bro. You're Josh Beck, star of the movie." He's like, "Go get her a hot chocolate." <laughs> he was trying to hype you up. He was trying to hype you up to get Man. more to get better scenes yeah. from you. Oh, that's a so I like I'm like okay so I go get her hot chocolate and I like knock on her trailer door and I was like hey I just got you a hot chocolate if you want it like I don't know it's oh my god and she, oh she was like oh thank you do you want to like come in and, <gasps> and hang out he was right <laughs> I was like I would love to Mary Kate thank you so much so we're, she, we're like talking about our weekend like what we're gonna do and she's like oh I might go to the Hamptons and like go see um James Taylor perform and I'm like cool I might go to like Queens with my friend and smoke a blunt in his basement. <laughs> I'm like, we live a very different life. <laughs> and, and so then we're like, so we finished filming that night and it's like five in the morning. We're all saying goodbye. And she's like being sort of like taken to her SUV. And I was like, oh, this was so great. I was like, we should hang out sometime. Um, and she was like, yeah, well, I'll get your number. And she just jumped in her car and closed the door. Oh, oh no. I'll well, get your like, number. I'll yeah. get your number. Well, that was back. At, you know, phones weren't working all the time. Totally. You know, yeah. It was May a have different had a beeper. time. It was yeah. a different, yeah. different time. time. I had nothing to offer Mary Kate. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew that. And I was like, Mary, she was so lovely about it. And I was yeah. Like, Thank you. Oh, that's funny. That's, that's good. That's really funny. I, I knew it. That was the last day of set? <laughs> that was her last day of film. Okay. <laughs> and I just was like. Well, you didn't know. Reason, she actually you got to see her the next day. And for that reason, I'm out. Popped right in the SUV. Anytime. Anytime. Yeah, that's. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. Good. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. We're yeah. good. That was that was funny. That was awesome. Wow. That was so fun. Anything you need to get Guys. off your chest? No. <laughs> Anything great. you need to address? I don't know. <laughs> I feel great about. I'm so glad that Vinny uh, Guad Guadarino, Guad the the Keto Guido, is here to say goodbye. <laughs> to what? the end of the episode. Did you steal my shirt? Because I have that too. Do you? Yeah, it's All missing though. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great shirt. Uh, um, thank you. Of so course, you man. Thank you. Gave me that shirt. I did. Yeah. Oh. You did. You were cleaning out your closet one time and you let me have it. Oh, sorry. And I think I oh. may have Find out the truth next episode. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, wait, so are you, what are you working on right now? Anything you want to plug? Oh, yeah. Anyone plug? Um, How I Met Your Father comes out in January. <gasps> uh, cool. Where? On Hulu. On Hulu, all right. And the Male Models Podcast, now only on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> oh, exclusively, exclusively on Spotify. And hopefully on Apple one day. Awesome. Cool. Check it out. Thank right. you guys Thank for you having for me. Coming Thank on. you, you so much. Love you, buddy. This was awesome. You've sat aside my little childhood heart. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Appreciate sat aside. It. <laughs> sat aside. All right, you want to close us out, Heath? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so that's it for the episode. Uh, make sure to get your coffee at cremotacoffee.com. All we also, flavors still available. We also got our Patreon. If you want to check that out, come hang with us, see some exclusive content, chat with us on the discord patreon.com um, slash zane and heath that's right and we'll see you guys next week thank you Ciao.
Toodles. <laughs> toodles. Toodles. <laughs> Just this clip of me out there. Toodles. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What, is it? what the hell was that back there, Matt? <laughs>